Oh yeah, fighting part five. Gold. Oh yeah, fucking fighting, fighting gold. gold. Fucking gold's great. Yeah. It's it, it's great, but fighting then gold is so fucking traders, good. Then the but then traders recommend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I legitimately <laughs> forgot fighting gold. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like what? There was a verse opening. I mean, it still goes to fucking to say how fucking good get yeah, part five. Part five is so fucking good. Vento Adeo. Also, we haven't been naming the fucking parts. We've just calling them by their part name. It's oh, yeah. part one, Phantom that. Blood. Part two, uh, Battle Tendency. Part three, Stardust Crusaders. Part four, uh, Diamond is Unbreakable and or Diamond is Not Crash. Yeah. And part five, Vento Adeo Oka, also known as Golden Wind. Yeah, if you want, if if you want any more reason why Part Two is standalone, Battle Tendency has very little to do with what actually happened. Yeah, yeah. All what right, so yeah. Mind? Oh wait, are we are we gonna talk about like uh, Purple Haze feedback? Or... Uh, Dragon. I don't know it. Uh, I'm I probably know. gonna talk about it, but I kind I want to talk about it, but Dragon Drago has a read it and he wants to read it, so no. It. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, let's not yeah. talk about yeah. it. Let's talk about it. Because I still need to find it. The, the, find the gist it. of it is that Fugo gets redemption. Uh, Fu it's a Fugo it. redemption, sorry. I need to find where I can read it, so... So fucking part five. It's great. It's fucking awesome. Uh, it starts with Koichi, which is... Yep. One of our old favorites coming back. Of, yeah, one of our old favorites coming back. The, ag the actual yeah. main character of part four. Yeah. He comes on. He comes on in like a badass. Uh, exactly. Gets meet, his luggage stolen. Yeah, he gets, gets his luggage stolen. We meet Giorno Turn immediately, which is yeah. Uh, Gior oh, Giorno kills Leaky Eye Luca. No, oh, Giorno. Fu Giorno fucking murders Leaky Eye Luca. No, no, no. no it's just like no, hey, he, he didn't kill him. Leaky Eye Luca just got fucked up super bad, and then whatever. and then Bruno murdered him. Yeah, then Bruno murdered him. Yeah, that's right, he did murder him. Yeah, but yeah, okay, so... Uh, the first time we see Giorno doing his thing is... Uh, uh, when he gets confronted by Leaky Eye Luca for not paying the... Uh, I'd say, kind of like, tax uh, to the mob for, like, yeah. doing... Uh, for Jesus. for doing that taxi uh, scam on the turf. Mm -hmm. And in fucking, and, like, he's like... Uh, and like that's that's where we see his wallet, and it's like, who is this? A relative? And it's like, it's, it's which is really weird yeah, because because, because you look at the picture, it's a picture of fucking Dio without a shirt doing that fucking backwards pose. Why does he yeah, have that? Uh, <laughs> like this super sexual fucking handsome man. It's like, who is this? A relative? <laughs> like, like fucking oh, uh, Luca. What the hell? I didn't know you. Luca's just father, like, oh, I didn't I know you had such fat material. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, what's wrong with you? Why do you have fat material in your wallet? Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's just my please. dad. It's my dad. <laughs> please don't talk about it. Yeah, Giorno Giovanna is the son of. Well, mm, Why? Mm. Why? he's well, son of he Dio, did. but he's technically also son of Jonathan he because has, he's a yeah, mixture he has, of like, the three two. Parents. Except he doesn't know anything about his dad. So. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. But is he's he is technically son of Dio, meaning he's son of God, meaning Jesus allegory. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then they Diablo is the, the devil, heavy. and then Jesus versus devil cage match. Rocky likes his. Uh, Rocky loves his fucking Jesus allegories. Yeah, like how also like how Paul Nareff fought God and the devil. Yeah, he and did. He stood on, he stood on either and sides of the stairway. Mm-hmm. And how he's superior. That's fucking later. That's the fuck we're skipping too far ahead. Uh, sorry. Gold experience. I like gold experience. Gold experience is cool. cool. Experience is uh it's weird. Uh, creates life. I like I like how Jorno uses it. He's definitely yeah. one of the. He's definitely probably like the most clever, if not top three, the most clever in JoJo's. Definitely. Although it doesn't help that his stand power is already kind of fucking overpowered. Yeah. I mean, he has healing similar to Josuke, but like, because he can heal himself and other and other things about it, kind of better than Josuke, isn't that? Yeah, a lot better healing. than Josuke. Yeah, but he, he doesn't realize he can heal other people until later on. Fucking, he's a lot better than Josuke because he can literally revive people from the fucking dead. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is there any? Josuke tried it, but you know. <laughs> did he? Did he actually? Is that what he did with Bruno? Yes. Yeah, he made Bruno uh, a zombie. I think I think he just healed his body. He and healed his body and Bruno forced. He healed his bar his body and forced him. Bruno's soul to come back into his body, making him a zombie. Despite his body him. already being super fucking dead. Yeah. Explain why his soul is in his body. Yeah. So basically, he made he healed Bruno's body, who was already dead, and forced his soul back into him, basically trapping him in his body. Yeah. 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 Just forced the soul into an already dead body. And he made body he made a fucking back. zombie. Yeah, yeah, the body doesn't come back to life. It's just reanimated. Yeah, he healed it. He healed it perfectly, but it's still a zombie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but after it, it's better than what uh, Josuke could do. Yeah. Uh, after the incident with Diki I Luca, we meet uh, Bruno Bucciolatti with sticky fingers. Yeah, then I fucking love sticky thing. fingers. It's cool. Really cool. It's uh, this is part five is where the fucking super gay shit and, and fucking weird ass fashion choices start happening. Yeah. Yeah, and also uh, part five is like that's where ev that's where like every character has their own little like fucking cock the moment. beautiful fashion choices as well. Mm -hmm. They're all fucking so flamboyant. I love it. Like fucking Pesci, despite being a a one-off villain gets his character arc. Yeah, like mid killing Bruno. Like this, like this is why Part Five is one of the fucking best. Bruno, well, you see, Bruno wore zippers like that before he had sticky fingers. Yeah. Well, he he always right knew. In, deep down inside, he always knew. He no, well, like when he was younger, he had yeah. less zippers, but when he got his stand, he had more yeah. zippers. <laughs> He just got his stand one day and was like, these zippers, I need more of them. I need more. Oh, uh, he's like, okay, I got my stand. I got a theme going. Let's run with it. Let's run with it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I like Sticky Fingers design. It's really yeah. nice. And then Bobby yeah. just gets an A on his so, uh, Yeah, that fight, uh, that first fight with gold experience and Sticky Fingers, great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, despite uh, the fucking whole, uh, the, pretty much the entire crutch of that fight being the uh, Josuke, uh, not Josuke, Giorno's ability to like sl uh, speed up the brain uh, while keeping the body as normal speed. Yeah, that was just, like the I one time he ever it. used he it. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of written off. I remember Drago mentioning it and me being like, "Yeah, don't get used to it." <laughs> don't get used to it because he uses it. He never uses it again. You do that a lot. Yeah, I, I, I do fucking, like, don't get used to it a lot. I, I think that's fine, because he already had a lot going for him. Also, he, my... He didn't, he didn't need that. Yeah, my favorite thing that I did to you while you were watching part five was... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fugo get plenty of fights. Fugo got some awesome fights. Look forward to Fugo. I remember you, remember you did it, like, in the middle of a Darkness Hero. Yeah, I did. In the, of I, in the middle of Darkness Hero, I said it again. It's like, hell yeah, Fugo gets yeah, some awesome I fights. You should get excited. Lemon, right as he said, I PM Lemon. Right as he said it, <laughs> I like you're the worst. I just PM the worst. I, 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 I'm a bastard, and I fucking find joy in doing it. It was uh, it was the best. You were like, you were super excited. <laughs> You were just like, oh, yeah, nice. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Drago. Cut out for me. What did you even say? Uh, when I when I, I fucking lied to you about Fugo. Like, yeah, about so, Fugo? Lied to, yeah. Was like, he lied to you lied. about it mid-Darkness Hero session. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're in Rome now. I don't know about this. Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> we're in, we're in Rome and Fugo. When did you realize that Fugo wasn't coming back? They swapped bodies. Like, okay, this isn't happening. Like when they swapped bodies, it's like, okay, he's not coming back. All right. When they swapped the bodies, that's when. Decided Wait, that that you got that far before realizing he's not coming back. Oh my god. <laughs> No, no, no! I've been hopes up for so it. long. No, 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 no! I mostly oh forgot God. about it. I was just like, all right. I just forgot about it for a while. Nah, fuck you! Don't lie. 
Venom said that. Drago, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lemon, why and would you do this to him? Because I'm in pain too. Yeah, and Lemon, remember I that quote unquote long con I pulled on you? Oh, yeah. I mean, you didn't put any effort into it. I didn't put any effort into it. L the, the only you jumped the gun super hard. Is it you when you knew some people. of the references? I was like, ah, yeah, he knows no, this I stuff. Didn't, I didn't, no, I. You just so happened to pull up references like, oh, I know that about One Piece, and it all started uh, in Spotlight Session One. Whenever I knew immediately it was Buggy because who the fuck else is a clown? And you're like, yeah, my, and you jumped the gun super hard and assumed I knew what the hell going to was. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Mike. We're not talking about one then, piece. Like, shut the, the fuck up. We're not talking about your betrayal right now. Oh, God. We're not at Trader's Requiem yet. Also, we forgot to talk about more of the opening to part four. Uh, openings to part four are very good. Great days are the fucking best. Yeah. Not as good as Trader's Requiem. Uh, wait. As wait as a as minute. <laughs> Uh, Great Days is very good. Uh, the fucking backward shit was fucking hype as fuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Drago, how did you feel when that happened? Uh, about the uh, Trader's Requiem? The, no, Great Days. Oh, Great Days? Um, the rewind shit? Yeah. That was great. It was cool. Let the voice of love take you higher. Uh, anyways, but yeah, fucking Fighting Gold, uh, that entire first half of that fucking season, we were all just like, yeah, Fighting Gold's the best! <laughs> fighting Gold was really good. Yeah. In that, in that, that those first fucking, that first fucking Man, half of the season, yeah. just like, hell yeah, Fighting Gold's the best, it's the best opening of JoJo, and then fucking Trader's Requiem came out, and we were like, we were all fucking wrong! <laughs> Yeah. The second Traders Requiem came out, and then. Well, yeah, the what's second, the Fighting Gold? The, the second what's version of fighting Traders gold? Requiem came out, I was like, there's no way it can get better than this. This is amazing. And then GR version. Yeah, no. Yes. Good. Uh, but yeah, uh, that fight, Sticky Fingers, fucking cool ass fight. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I really like the part where Bruno just fucking hid inside of a dude. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. It was and weird. I turned, I turned your tooth into a fly, so it would track you down. Yep. Which is also weird. Uh, after that, he wants to join the gang, and he meets Pulpo, who is a fucking weirdo. Yeah, he's, he's a so couch. weird him being, like, an alien, just like Minikata. He... That's why he's able to turn himself And unlike Mikataka... Pulpo, I don't think he's, like, doesn't have enough. I don't enough think he's an to... alien. I think he's just fat. I think he's just a weirdo. Like, it might be part of his... Wait, wait, wait. It wait, might wait, be wait. part of his stand power. It might not bed. be. Could you repeat that? You can turn into a bed, then? Yeah, wait, can... can you not? Wait, you, you can't turn into a bed? You can't turn into a know. bed, Drago? You okay? No. You good, Drago? I, I just... That is a really you missed the bird entirely because Luda was like, Oh, I guess if you're fat, you can just do that. And I was like, Oh, yeah, lemon, yeah, that means not, yeah, I can turn into a bed. Yeah, that's normal. That's not yeah. that's not what's weird about Pulpo. Yeah, like, what's weird about Pulpo is, is, is the really time he ate pizza. his fingers and they were fine. No, no, not that. That's normal. It's the time he ate that pizza yeah. from the middle out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was really strange. yeah, that was really strange. Who does that? Who does that? Yeah. Yeah, but... How do you slurp pizza? I don't know, Popo did it. Popo's a fucking weirdo, man. Maybe Black Sabbath just has some weird illusion thing. Like... Yeah, it, it could be Black Sabbath having a weird illusion thing. It could be just Popo being like that naturally, and the fact that fucking Araki never tells us really helps with Popo being a fucking weirdo. It makes that whole arc a lot better. A lot more mysterious. Uh, also, Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath is interesting in himself because he has the arrow inside of him. But it's it's either like the arrow or it's like a, it's. I, don't know. I think like it, arrow it, it it might be a exists. it might it might be a bound stand and it's bound to the arrow. Maybe I, I mean like that arrow that arrow ceases to exist after something shows him the light. Yeah. 
that Black Sabbath fights, it's very it's very good. In the anime, they did an excellent job. Mm-hmm. Uh, every fucking fight, I'm gonna after it. I'm gonna say the anime did an excellent job. You're gonna what? After every fucking fight, after every stand, I'm just gonna say the anime did an excellent job because the anime did a fucking oh, excellent yeah. job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Productions did really, really, really good. They're good. They're good at what they do. Yeah. Honestly, when okay, because uh, after I watched part four, I immediately read the manga of part five just because i didn't know if part five was going to get an anime or not i remember when it got announced that it was i was just waiting patiently for the piss drinking scene oh yeah yeah that's what we were all waiting for the best piss drinking scene in all of anime of course uh also like how mid jojo episode you get you learn some new shit like fucking us, this specific type of jellyfish yeah. actually absorbs 98% of water. <laughs> yep. Like, but yeah, 98% thanks, thanks means me. that it fucking it uh that some piss dribble some down. Pit, some piss some piss dribble some piss droplets. <laughs> piss droplets. Oh wait, someone on Twitter I, I sent it in Picto chat, someone on Twitter like read that. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. It was it was a it was a kind ale war who is a good YouTuber who you should watch. He's a, he's a great YouTuber. I watch him all the time. Yep. Uh, something like six. Yes, like something that six. I found interesting in the Black Sabbath uh, arc when he was like carrying the lighter around and he had to keep it uh, light lit. Yeah. Is with like that fucking this human stack of people being like, "Yo, Jorno, take the picture for us," and Jorno's like, "No." What? Yeah, Jorno, take the picture. Yeah. It's a tr- yeah, Jorno apparently is like in. Yeah, but like, popular. like I like that because it adds like to like yes, Jorno was just a normal kid before this, yeah. but no, he's yeah. so he's he's, like he's so determined to wanting to become a gang star and fixing the problems with the mob that he's just willing to give it up. Like the opposite. Like, what, 15? Isn't he fifteen? He's, he's fifteen. 15. He became a mob mob boss at fifteen. Yep. Jeez, I'm 17 and I'm bum. What do you? What do you? I'm not. I'm not well, just you're gonna... also you're also don't your dad also isn't Jonathan and or Dio. Yeah. Also, the way that he became the mob know. boss is not by using Ger. It's by just fucking. He came in and he was like, "I'm I'm I'm Diavolo. I was the boss the whole time." Really, that's been. Yeah, and that's they've never good. seen him before, so they yeah, and they've never seen him, and they're like, "Well, how do we know you're that powerful?" He just whips Whoa. out Ger for a bit and yeah, is like, he's, "Yeah, all right." He's, just like, he's like, "How do we know you're not the boss, Bo? How do you know I am the boss? How do how do I how do we know you are the boss? How do you know I'm not the boss?" And there you go. <laughs> it's just Gr. Yeah, and anyone who tries to kill them, fucking good luck, yeah. fucker. Yeah, good, yeah, good, good luck like doing that. that. Good fucking luck. <laughs> The few people that know it's not him. Yeah. Which is Mr. and Trish and Pulnerv. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, One of which is a ghost and of a turtle. Machine and um, the other guy, I forgot his name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, after Black Sabbath, we meet the gang. We meet the gang on episode four. Yeah. This is introduced on episode four. Uh, the episode where Giorno drinks piss. I uh, fucking I fucking love that shit because it's just because it's just like for the gang being stupid as they are, it's Abacho, yeah. Narancia, Fugo, and Mr. Pink fucking stupid. So, yeah, they're meet, just uh, hanging out at their fucking restaurant. Yeah, we meet Moody Blues after this because like they, they go to the boat. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm about yeah. to well, mention that, yeah, but I do want to mention that uh, when we are meeting them and they're heading towards the yacht, they talk about what happens in the Rolling Stones arc. Yeah. Like with the uh, oh with the, yeah, with the car, the, someone broke the car. Yeah, fucking what are we get? What are we gonna do about the car? It's okay, we got a rental. Oh my like, god! The only reason Wait, why? Really? Yeah, in uh, the anime, it's mentioned, but not in the manga. But in the anime, David Pro put it in. When uh, uh no, Pro it, 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 fixed it. Also, also, they also say like, yeah, if if Mister hadn't done that with the stone and like Bruno just died, no one else would have died. Oh yeah, no. But nobody else would have died because they would not have gone. They would not have had the determination to yeah, yeah. want to. They they wouldn't have. They would not have met Jorno, and they would not have had the determination. No, well, no. They they would have met Jorno, but they would not have had the determination to continue forward because they wouldn't because have Bruno. Because Bruno is gone. Because Bruno's the gone. So it was kind of like a necessary sacrifice. It was necessary because otherwise Jorno probably would have gone on his own. He would have gotten killed. 
Easily. Easily. He would have and he would have gotten killed by a white album immediately. Like maybe yeah. he could have made it out of the talking head and clash. Uh he made it yeah, out of no, the baby face fine. But he would not have gotten past White Album. No. Would he have gotten past Pesci and uh Grateful Dead? I don't think so. Because mm-hmm. Grateful Dead would just I'm like, I'm messing up the timeline a lot. You are. Yeah, my bad. That's we, the main thing about this, is like the timeline is super hard to get down. Because it, it all happens in a week. Yeah. Part five is a week. Wait, what? Yeah, part it's a fucking week. It's a single week. Mm-hmm. Uh, part, part four, like, part, uh, part one is, like, a couple months. Part two is, uh, three months, I'm pretty sure exactly. Uh, part, uh, part three, part three is, is, like, one? I think it's one month of just traveling like, uh, and traveling across Egypt. And, uh, part four is about half a year. Yeah, like yeah, it's definitely about half a year, and then part five is five part five is a week. Yeah, Jesus, that's a lot of shit that happens in a week. Yeah, yeah. When uh, you fucking with the when you fucking with the mafia. Yeah. Is it like isn't it part six like a month? I have no idea. Fucking, you're asking you're asking to people who don't know shit about part six, man. Yeah, man, I don't remember <laughs> shit about that. I don't fucking remember shit about that. We're gonna get the part six out. Don't worry about it. We're gonna get the part six, and then it's up to Drago to carry most of it. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to run jog our memories. Uh. Uh. Yeah, but uh, after that, it's soft machine. Yeah. And in the soft machine arc, we also meet Moody Blues. Uh, I actually really like Moody Blues. Moody Blues is even fucking though, sick. Even though I'm not that fond of the user. Uh, I am very fond of Leone Abache. I like him. Abache is real cool. I like his design a lot. I, I really like do. His, the golden A on his belt. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up, also, Giorno. Don't... Shut the fuck up, Giorno, you fucking dumb um, kid. Risotto and, and Abacchio share a lot of like, the same outfit. Yeah, they do. There's a fucking dojin of those two. Uh, they're fucking, there's, there's a, a dojin of okay, everyone, that's man. There's a bunch of dojins of those yeah, two. There's a lot. Along with Mr. They also give Risotto huge tits. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not gonna... Let's just huge, like, on. ab, like, fucking, like, muscle tits. Peck tits. Yeah. Peck. For huge pecs. But please. Soft Machine. I have no fucking idea what's going on in that fight. Soft Machine was the one Soft where it deflated machine. people. Yeah. yeah. I, it also hid the boat inside of the other boat. I've always been annoyed at the Lego of King Crimson. What does it do? It's like, it fucking... Ha- have you read what fucking Soft Machine does? Have you read that fucking part? It makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> have you... Like, the manga of that fucking fight makes no fucking sense. I have no idea what was going on. It, it popping them and putting them into the other boat. It, 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 it makes sense in the anime, but like in the manga, you could not tell what the no, fuck was it's, happening. It's just kind of like it was a fucking mess. I couldn't tell what was happening. Yeah, but the cool. soft machine fight was pretty what. Yeah, the soft machine fight was whatever. The actual good result is that we saw Moody Blues. Moody Blues is fucking thick as fuck. Yeah, and then we saw. And it has that sick ass sound effect. Uh, and Super then we scary. also saw the best, the fucking best, like, fucking, like, yo, yo, David Pro, how much do you like, uh, part five, and then fucking torture dance. Yeah. Like a burning sunrise. Uh, if you've never saw the manga panel of that, it's, it's four panels of just, like, four moves. For anime, that's, like, a minute and a half of just pure ecstasy. Wasn't there, like, a, uh, like, a, like, the localized version of Mother 3, doesn't it just have the torture dance on a wall, on a wall somewhere? I think it does. You'd like have to a, ask. You'd have to ask Ombre for that. Yeah, we aren't. We aren't like. We aren't she, that the, experts the, on that. Into the uh, into the general voice chat, and it's like you should summon me. <laughs> what is this? What's gonna happen? What is this? <laughs> you guys are talking about JoJo. Someone said Mother Three. Mother Three. Mother Three. Mother Three. And then after that, we find out. Toward the torture stuff. dance is so good, man. I I remember the Pretty day it came. I remember the day it came out. I came back from school. I popped on the episode, and then I came in my fucking pants. Yeah, I legitimately listened to it just like on my downtime. Yeah, whole another level coming from my mind. 
that the name of that song is Canzone Favori. Fa- fa- it's something. It's it's basically Italian for favorite song. I am not Italian, but I could uh, need loot the root uh, language for Italian is Latin, so it's Spanish. So I understand some of the shit. Yeah. We should do that. All right, so what's the next stand? It's uh, craft- it's craftwork craft spelled with a K. Yeah, uh, I actually re- I actually like the concept of, cla- of craftwork. Craftwork like, is like, a really cool stand. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's the it, free- it, it can be really really cool. It freezes everything in place. Uh, yeah, it's almost like a cool ability. I mean, it's like you freeze everything in place. And yeah, and it like, retains the uh uh the uh, uh, friction like, and uh, uh, force you put into it. It's like yeah, state like, from just- uh. It's it's stasis rune yeah, from he, Birth of Wild. Like, it's exactly what it is. Yeah. Put yeah. in like energy. I mean, like imagine, like can you like? I'm not gonna get into like the huge discussion because it's super hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. But you could totally just stop a heart. You can. So you totally can. Uh, that kinda happens later on. Does it? In in a uh, purple haze feedback. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit! He that actually, totally did happen. Yeah. I fucking huh. totally forgot about that. Yeah. Huh. huh. That, you totally fucking guessed it. I Good fucking job. totally forgot about that, yeah. Oh, wow, look at, look, yeah. look at that. Thanks, huh. Craftwork. Or whatever wow. is the stand that does that. Yeah, Craftwork. Uh, also, in the anime, he's green and, like, orange, and I... It's... Uh, he's, a, he's a weird green, and I don't like it that much, because in the... In the colored manga, he was like a white and purple and blue we and yellow. We mentioned all three, and now he now he's typing in the other chat. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, he's he's running out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, Craftwork. It's one of those stands where, like, hypothetically speaking, it could be really good. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Like you, like I mean, just miss it was too lucky. Yeah, also yeah. in this work we also meet sex pistols. Yeah, we meet yes. sex pistols. It's a really good it's really cool I, stand. I like sex pistols a lot. Is, yep. I'm debating between this being my favorite stand in uh part five or not. Cause I really, really like Mist as a character. Mist is a great Mist. character. I fucking love him. Also I love I love when all the uh pistols talk to each other. Oh uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, okay. It's yeah, very fun. Five, the number five, the one that's most <laughs> yeah, they, they, is they the one that gets the most five. shit done. Yeah, number five gets the most shit done, Woody but he's Woody. also uh, the thing with Mista is like you know the number four thing, and since number five is technically number four, but he's got renamed to five. I love the fact that yeah. his fear of the number four affects his stand. Yeah, it totally does. It's so good. It's very good. It's very very. Imagine good. Mista if he didn't just use a revolver. What if he used a sniper? Uh, he. I said this exact same thing. Uh, we see, we see what happens when he like uses that. Uh, yeah. he uses the uh, semi-automatic or just regular ass pistol. He's just, he's just not as good with it. They can kick the bullets around just fine, but they have a much more difficult time reloading the bullets and getting yeah. into the chamber. What if it was a sniper that worked like a revolver? Like, if it was, like, a big-ass 50 cal bullet, they'd probably need all the bullets to kick it at once to properly, like, guide it around. Like... Because for the revolver, he used, like, smaller bullets, which is easier to kick around with sex pistols, like, but... For, if it was a 50 cal, is, he'd probably need all the bullets to kick it at once. The thing is that Mr. reloads it himself. He just kind of, like, tilts his head down and all the bullets fall in, and he reloads it. But, yeah, but the, the thing is that, like, if he had a, if he had a sniper rifle like that, he could, just, he could just, like, easily, like... Take a clip out, put a clip right back in, and then pull the bolt back and instantly have it done. But it wouldn't look as cool. And then fire, and then use that shit, and then to like kick the decaliber, to kick the actual bullet from that. He has no need to reload. Seconds. Yeah, but how gay can you make it look? Yeah, how, you, the fucking a sniper rifle yeah. isn't that guy. Like, like he's I'm gonna pull out an, like another. He's gonna pull out like another. You can't, there you are, can't put away your fucking uh, right sniper rifle in your goddamn like, yeah, crotch like, area. Yeah, I, I can I can break really? I can break out my history I can break out my history knowledge. In World War One there was there was a type of uh shotgun normally used by pilots, which was a revolving chambered shotgun. It had six rounds that it was fucking miss using a shotgun wouldn't work. He like there's it's an impossible, there's too many there's too many uh projectiles you, you see, involved. Here's, uh, a, here's the problem. Here's the problem. A shotgun is too straight. 
We need a <laughs> gay weapon. I mean, I don't know. Mista what? firing that thing like in between is pretty gay. Yeah, it, it could be. But also, I feel like he could do more gay poses with Dran with Drano if he has the revolver. Drano. Dran, 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 drunk no. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> why use a why use a stub nose? Why not just use a single action army like a true man? Or are you are you do you have a stand? You have a stand. Yeah. <laughs> how gay are you? Yeah, how gay? sorry. You can't have a stand unless you're flamboyant or gay. Yeah. Even Jotaro was pretty flamboyant. Yeah. Have you ever drank and piss? I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean... Oh, God. Uh, I, I just remembered the... Uh, uh, I think who's Thule. Nah, I've never had... I've never had piss before. Why don't you think who's right. Thule... <laughs> Worthy. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking King Crimson. Oh, uh, King Crimson. Uh, the craftwork fight. It's so fun. I like the sound effect that they use for uh, craftwork tapping on the back of the bullet. Yeah. Very good. I like it a lot. Yeah, imagine him. Like, I know it's way more inaccurate, but imagine him just, uh, just fucking punching the bullet. <laughs> Like it loses its accuracy, but it loses yeah, accuracy. The power yeah, of a missile. Yeah, we fucking would, <laughs> but it would probably fly out in a fucking random direction. Like just imagine, like, no, no, imagine, just imagine like, he punches the side of the bullet, and then it explodes the fucking mountain they're on, crushes Mista. Problem no, no, solved. No, no. <laughs> imagine, no, imagine like Jotaro and Crafter working together. <laughs> Like the tag team duo you've never yeah, seen. That's a fucking Eyes of Heaven fucking team yeah, up I want to see. Those... Like, Jotaro is like super precise like when he pulled out the flesh buds so he could easily just accurately aim that shit. Yeah, totally. So it, it just be, level an it entire just be the regular craft, craft works with an extra three seconds of tapping. Yeah. Essentially. <sighs> uh, after the craft work, uh, we grab a Trish. Uh, Trish, I love Trish. Trish is great. Trish is very great. I, I didn't like her very much in the beginning. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's the point. She's kind of a bitch in the beginning. But yeah. she grows to yeah. like the gang. Uh, she grows up to... She relates a lot with Narancia. Yeah. Uh, every time that she needs, to, she needs to do something, she always talks to Narancia because she feels comfortable around them. Mm -hmm. Actually, Narancia really... Uh, Trish is it's actually opposite. Narancia does the. Yeah, Tr Nara Trish is made. Richardi, she's made. Yeah, exactly that. It swims after. <laughs> and Fugo's just like, huh. I remember seeing a meme on Reddit <laughs> where it was a uh, it was the Narancia swimming gif on the soup, in the soup, <laughs> and it's Narancia fucking whooping. It's like. Trish is in the soup. I'm in the soup. Trish is in the I'm soup. In the soup. I... <laughs> oh, Mar came back. For now, at least. What? Oh, shit, Mar. Hey, Mar. All right, so, uh, Little Feet. Little Feet. Little Feet, and by extension, uh, Aerosmith. AKA Little Bomber. Uh, Little Bomber. Little Bomber. I don't think it's it's a bad localization, but it's a yeah. It, I think it's, it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. I per I think it's pretty, it's pretty bad, especially considering he doesn't use bombs. Uh, my favorite fun that fact like that a, a Rocky probably made up on the spot as a joke uh, is that the little pilot inside of a uh, Aerosmith his, his name yeah. his name is Smith Son. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's adorable. It's great. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Vinky. I was about to say the exact same thing. It's like, that's a bit too mean. Uh... Uh, yeah, Little Feet and Aerosmith. I like Aerosmith. Aerosmith is fun. Yeah, Aerosmith's really good. Mm 
He just he just shoots straight bullets. Yeah, like his stand power is he's it's an airplane. He could fly around. He shoots bullets, and he has that uh, uh carbon that carbon, the carbon uh, sensor detector. detector. And little feet. If he cuts you, you get smaller. But at a very slow pace. Yep. Very slow. Uh, and the, well, it's not that slow. You become like a tiny in a minute. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but you know. And he shrunk down and just. And just he like can. And he could use it on himself to do it instantaneously. Yeah. It, you also only. Oh, can we talk about the uh, extra scene David Productions added with uh, him assassinating the guy with the car? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a really good scene that I like. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David, David Pro really knew what they were doing members. with scenes they added and removed. They know what they're doing a lot when it comes to JoJo. Yeah, they do. It, especially in part five. Yeah. I, like, we, we couldn't have asked for a better animation team. Oh, hell yeah, man. It, it, it's so much passion that went it's uh, it's that it's some movie. some would say it's a passion eh? so much passion uh, god damn it yeah. i wanted to make the joke first yeah do fuck you yeah no fuck you man, uh, fuck you inky man. <laughs> shut the fuck up inky <laughs> wait no wait, you're not inky shut the fuck no man this really was truly a uh, oh, mentor <laughs> <laughs> this is truly a diamond Stop. unbreakable. Stop. Diamond Stop. unbreakable. Stop. This truly really was a golden wind. Stop. Stop. You guys are gonna... Stop it. <laughs> it looks like we were the stone ocean the whole... It looks like the stone... It looks like we were the shining diamond the whole time. It looks like the stone ocean was inside of us all along. The shining diamond... The shining diamond, diamond came from the little bomber... From Damon. It looked like the battle tendency was us the whole time. <laughs> what? Our phantom blood carried our battle tendency throughout. time. Stop! Stop! Please. Ah, uh, anyways. <laughs> yeah, little feet. It's a fun fight. I like. Uh, I like that extra scene of him fucking assassinating that dude. Yeah, with a car. Yeah. Because that's totally, that's a really good way of fucking assassinating a dude. Yes. Yeah, just, like, just imagine just sitting down with your bro, and then all of a sudden you and fucking then there's a car. He, right he explodes into a car. Christ, I mean, man. I mean, I don't know, Drago. Pizza's, like, super fucking cool. Pizza's really yeah. good. He's really fucking I can already tell. I know literally nothing about him, but I know he's easily the coolest guy in this server. Yeah. Uh, so after the little feet fight, it's uh, Giorno, Abaccio, and Fugo go to check out the uh, boss's orders. And in the man in the mirror. They encounter man in the mirror. Uh, stand user, you lose purple haze. You lose I feel like they're really. I feel like it's like. My name was Eluso, so. Uh, that fight was good. I like that fight. Uh, it was a good fight for. It was the only fucking fight for uh, Purple Haze. Yeah, sadly. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't, um, there's not much to say about the Illusion fight, really. Yeah, I mean. Man of the Mirror is the mirror concept, but done a lot better than it was with, uh, Jay Guile. Yeah, it was pretty much Rocky contradicting himself about something. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not unreasonable to think that stand powers have different, uh, yeah, their, their I mean, yeah, stand powers do different things. Of course. Like Every there's there isn't there perfect. isn't a mirror world. Man in the mirror just creates a mirror world. Like you just yeah. think of it. You could think of it like that. If, if there was another stand that also could use a mirror world, it'd probably be a different kind of mirror world. Or or at least like a, a hanged man world wasn't even a mirror world. Mirror he just like in it. 
He just kind of, like, inhabited the actual reflection of it. Yeah. But I don't fucking know much about Guile, really. I don't remember it. He had right two hand. right hands, and he did the bad with Polnareff's F's, like, 12-year-old sister or something. 12? Uh, Pretty sure she was really young. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, thought, I thought at the time she was older than him. Yeah. It was, that's what I it was his little sister. Uh, there's a noticeable thing in, with my favorite my favorite sand, which is they tend to be purple. Not a surprising, really. <laughs> uh, I purple. fucking love purple haze a lot, but I can't. I just can't call him my favorite sand because he literally only it's gets one face. fucking fight. It's not baby, baby face. face. It's, it's, not, baby face. It's, it's not baby face. It's a Coco Jumbo. Yeah, it's a totally <laughs> Coco Jumbo. Yeah. Coco yeah, Jumbo. totally Coco Jumbo. When you think about it, Coco Jumbo is dead. No. No, Coco Jumbo's still alive. He's alive. It's just Polnareff is there. Yeah, Polnareff is chilling out in the key. He... No, no, no. He took over his body. No, no. No. No, he Coco says Jumbo it at the end. He's like, he's chilling out Trish. in the key. He lives in the yeah, key. Like, Trish like even said, yeah. He was, oh, no, he was Coco. No, he like, was he Coco was Jumbo for a time, but Coco Jumbo is back in his body. Yeah, but whenever Silver Chariot Requiem uh, uh, deactivated. Whatever, it deactivated. Coco Jumbo came back. And, and Polnareff was, just, was like, out. he was about to go just go to a fucking uh, big fucking uh, uh, farm yeah, in the sky. Straight, but he just, just he, he got stuck into the key and he's just chilling out there for a while. He could leave if he wants to, but he's just like, nah, I, I like it in here. You guys are cool. You guys go, hey, can you guys like go meet this guy named Jotaro? They really appreciate it. It's like, who the fuck's Jotaro? Uh, I don't know. I'd really appreciate it if it's see my friends again. Nah, you're at the mob now. I'm sure that Jotaro met Polnareff again. Mm, nah. Yeah, maybe. It's never mentioned otherwise, so I choose to it for wonder, it to be yeah, canon. I wonder, yeah, I me too. Is it, it makes me feel better. I mean, for for a while, Pol Jotaro did think Polnareff fucking dead, I'm pretty sure. Really? I mean, if, if he sure had for got a... the message out, being like, hey, I need help, probably would have died. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're going to go of... into a Jotaro versus uh, Diavolo conversation, oh, then... No, no, you know. no, that's not, that's not. Yeah, yeah, that's not. That's not. That's not. Let's, let's not. No, no, nah. No, no, no. <laughs> nah. No, no. Uh, Man in the Mirror, I like his design uh, oh, a lot. No. Oh, sorry. I like Man in the Mirror's design. It's pretty good. It's just a bird with. A I also I like Alujo. Alujo looks good. He's very flamboyant. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of the more normal looking people of this gang. Yeah. Actually, yeah, he just has like a like a regular outfit. Yeah, he has. He's wearing clothes that don't show all of his skin, and aren't like have colors that clash completely. Yeah, like fucking Littlefoot, dude. Fucking mm -hmm. thanks, Mister. Yeah. Oh, okay. Christ almighty, Mr. Brown, like his fucking this brown, is, blue, uh, and white this, outfit. He has, he has fucking orange, like, tiger print pants. Yeah. He's just terrible fashion taste. It works for him, but it's just, it's still just terrible. Yeah. Where's I mean, something like Jordan? Uh, we all have that. Purple Haze. I like Purple Haze. Uh, I like his design. I like that David Pro added a cape. It works a lot. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, it works a lot for his kind of, uh, uh, I'm I'm not sure what to call it. Really, is it like an Italian sort of like conquistador uh, sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. I'd maybe yeah. not Italian. It's some sort I mean, of conquistador kind of thing. The helmet reminds me of it, and along with the cape, it helps it. Uh, it you mean gets like, that yo, a lot no, more. No, no, no. I know exactly what you're thinking of a uh, a Roman like uh sport like yeah, a Roman yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's it. <laughs> an Italian conquistador. <laughs> I don't. I'm just saying fucking words, man. It's a podcast. It's uh, the whole point. Just saying words. Helmet. Yeah, fucking like yeah. centurions and shit. Yeah, centurion. Yeah, uh, but he, I can't call him my favorite sand because he only gets one fight, and he barely yeah. does anything in it. But I do He's love, cool. I do love purple haze sand cry a lot. Yeah. I love the way angry all the time. I love the, the way the voice actor did it for it because it sounded a lot more like artistic screeching. I, but if I you like, really pay attention, you uh, can hear that Ubasha hey, in there. He's not my favorite. He's not my favorite stand in part five. He's definitely my favorite stand in, uh, well, actually, hmm. I, I'd said he would be my favorite stand in, uh, Purple Haze Feedback, but 
there's uh, Rainy Days Dream Away is probably my favorite stand then. Yeah. That's technically not part of part five, but Rainy Days above the hip away. It's really good. It's also fucking very powerful. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it said that it could def- it could have defeated Diablo? It totally could have defeated Diablo. Mm. Ooh, fucking um, like if it's ooh, fucking oh, if, if Diablo got caught in the I rain can... one day, he'd be fucked. <laughs> can I just add one one part about uh, Man in the Mirror? Yeah. Or at least the fight. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's a podcast. Diablo, go ahead. What was the name of the What's the name of the user? I forgot it. Illusio. 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 Whatever. Uh, I remember in the fight, he mentioned something about his resolve and how he finally got the resolve to get out and uh, risk being in the uh, Purple Haze. Mm-hmm. And I, I like that portion because it really brings in how... Because you know how throughout the entire part, they talk about resolve and oh, how fine. they find the resolve to continue on? Yeah. I, I think Never that really helps set that... Uh, La Squadra is the same, or at least somewhat like Bruno's gang. Elias, that's what I took from it, at least. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love La Squadra because they're their own fucking just group of characters. Yeah, yeah. So La Squadra is really good. And I love that it's David Pro added really just a bunch of parts of them being package. together because it totally makes sense that they'd have so, the same relationship so as like, the, so the gang. Nearly killing the boss. Mm-hmm. What? So they're really straight up murking the boss. Who? You talking about Dopio? No. Risotto. Nero. Are you talking, are you talking about Yeah, Dopio? you mean Dopio. Killing Dopio. And the Dopio boss. is not the boss. Yeah. Dopio only has access to Epitaph until the the boss gives him access to King Grimson. Yeah. yeah. With just the arms. With just the arms. Uh... Uh, after the Man of the Mirror fight, uh, we meet up with Coco Jumbo, his stand, yeah. Mr. President. Yeah. Uh, I love that fucking Stand-ish title. It's actually just like the key, for some reason. Uh, well, it's... It's, it's the like co- a little... It's a little room. The, the uh, key isn't the stand? It's like, it's, it's, kinda like, it's like the stand. activation. Of- it's, it's like a... It's, it's, like a, it's, it's a like, step to to activate the stand. Yeah. It's like it's like putting a do- it's like cutting a hole for a yeah. door. Yeah, basically. yeah. Because like you could separate the a- yeah you could separate them and they'd be and it's fine. But I'm pretty sure if you kill the turtle, then you would like. You'd lose it. You'd lose Did it. You? Yeah. How old is the turtle? I don't know. Uh, probably pretty old. Like for fucking <laughs> probably I. He could be either, he's probably either pretty old or about average age because he manages to fucking survive a really long ass time with the Grateful Dead. Yeah. He's probably, he's probably a young turtle, actually. Yeah, but, yeah, because turtles can live a pretty long time. Live a long ass time, that turtle fucking, that turtle probably got super fucking old there. Yeah, yeah but then it reverted nice and The entire back. Grateful Dead with, like, Grateful Dead just unleashing all that shit onto him, like, right next to him. Yeah. That, that 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 Coco Jumbo went through a lot of shit, man. Yeah, you know, with him just being a turtle. Yeah, yeah. And now Grateful Dead and uh, Beach Boy. Yeah, uh, I I want to take a piss. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about it while you're gone. Yeah, Beach Boy. Um, Beach Boy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's definitely I, a very I really uh, like Pesci. Like, like when you look at it, it's like that shit's stupid. Like it's pretty when stupid, you but like it. Yeah, when you think about it, and then when you like see what Pesci does with it, it's just like wow, this is pretty good, you know. Like being able to just rip out people's hearts whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. and then There's you can't even like stop the string. Like, like that. Yeah, the, uh, you can't even between Pesci and uh, uh, fucking what's it face? I, I forgot his name. Yeah, for Grateful Dead Man. Promotion. Yeah. Hmm. Or whatever. It's something like that. Along those lines. Like I like that was I like the interactions that La Squadra just had. Cause just yeah. it makes them seem less like stand of the week and more like actual people. 
Like they're like the yeah, gang, but it, on like a different side of the coin, you know? Yeah, because it's actual like gang warfare rather than just we just so happen to fight this person right now. Yeah. Yeah, like so like the character development per Pishy goes through mid uh mid fight is is really good. Mm. Yeah. And then and that then was by a really the good end fight. when he finally when he finally gains the resolve to be more independent. To, yeah, to be only, confident, just be his own yeah, man. Only to just die. Yeah. Is is yeah. Yeah. We talk. Okay. Whoa, 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 what are we talking about? What are we talking about? about so how it was a really good fight. It's a really good yeah, fight. Beat that really fucking fight on the train is really good. And Hello Squad yeah. is really yeah. good. Uh, I want to. I want to talk about Beach Boy, because uh, Beach Boy is a, such a stupid looking sand, right? <laughs> Because, like, it's a fucking fishing pole, and it could fish, and it's like, that's kind of stupid, and the, and the user looks fucking stupid. But the way Araki uses it is when, like, when you think about it, like, that's really powerful, because, like, the way the way he uses it is that he could just, like, fish straight into your heart and just fucking cut into your heart, and you're dead, and you can't do anything about it. Straight rip your heart out. And the way that Pesci t- says it uh, near the end, where it's like he never had the resolve or determination or confidence to go straight for the heart because it leaves you open and you don't have time to re- uh, pull it back. So he'd always go for the arm and swim up directly to the heart, which he did a lot throughout the fight. But at the end, when he just goes straight for Bruno, who does heart, uh, he does that. He goes, just yeah, goes straight for the heart. He goes straight yeah, for the heart because by the end, he... He, that's when he finally gains a resolve to do so. Yeah. But yeah. but then when he threatens to to uh kill the rest of uh Bruno's gang. Yeah. Because Bruno compliments him how he's become more independent. But once he threatens to kill the rest of Bruno's gang while they're in the turtle and stuff. It's because he takes he makes two mistakes. The first mistake is not making the kill immediately, which he Bruno yeah. comments on like how uh, Prosciutto did. Uh, and then, which, and then when he threatens shows, to just kill the yeah, gang, which, which also shows how uh, how how he was a more bro- like big brother kind of figure for Pesci. Yeah, it shows the fact that he comments on Pesci' uh, lack of, uh, I guess, really just going for it the same way he would. I think it kind of shows that Bruno is more a, a more of a big brother kind of figure. For the rest of the gang, mainly like Naranjo and other people. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, that, that's one reason why, because it was always La Squadra that have like clutch moments of when against the gang. Like they they have their own clutch moments, and like they're the ones that talk about resolve. Like mm-hmm. compared to the elite squad, like who are just kind of like they, the they, elite they squad talk. doesn't talk much and the the two two of the only elites we only meet three of like the elite squad uh two of which are chocolate and seca who are fucking bastards squalo and uh fucking uh squalo are squalo squalo and tiziano the elite squad yeah yeah they're the elite squad those two those two are good but like those two are good but uh carne fucking dies immediately uh, Chocolat and Seco are bastards, and there's no one else after that. Yeah, like, like the boss is even like, I really don't want to have to call on them, but they're my last chance. Chocolat and Seco. Yeah, yeah, like that's that's what the, the Squatchers just they're, they're just super good. Like they have actual yeah. characters and like things to them because of what the gang, because of what the boss did to one of their own. Yeah, and they're that they just like like if. If the boss did something like Tubaccio or something similar to that manner, then the gang would go on a similar war path. Definitely, I feel definitely. When you think about it, like, like uh, the Bruno's gang and La Squadra, time they were just they mentioned the wrong time because yeah. they were they were trying to yeah. protect Trish, and if they knew that it's like, hey, they're just going to kill Trish. A common goal. We want to take down the boss. We if if help. if they knew that Diavolo would not have cared, does not care for Trish, they probably would have joined. Yeah, uh, they probably would have joined, and it would have it would have made like it would have made everything like for much easier for them. You it know? would have been way the easier. Squadra, 
like La Squadra would have been, or not La Squadra, the Elite Squad would have been taken out pretty easily. Like, uh, you can also think about how when La, all of La Squadra is gone, you can think about how uh, I'm gonna call the gang just Passione because that's what who they are. Uh, how Passione kind of inherits their will as to like wanting to kill the boss for their yeah. for. Uh, yeah. For their own independence, for their own for their own reasons. Yeah, it's it's very good. It really is yeah, kind of tragic great. how things went. Yeah, how like, so many people died. Yeah, how so many people died when they really they would not have needed to. Yeah, there's the yeah, they, like they it, could if... have they could have done this if they had just known, but. They yeah, that kind of goes for like uh, Risotto because he didn't. Because did he did he know that they were just after the to kill the boss or was he just like I found the boss you're dead or I found they were trying to find Dobby the boss's identity before uh, Trish was even involved. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and like yeah. what after La Squadra was like all killed, he was kind of like okay, we just need to, like, Risotto was just like, okay, I'm just going to go on a warpath at all costs. Yeah, I think I think Risotto was in one hand, like, I want to kill the boss, but also I want to get, I want to avenge my team. Yeah. 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 It really fits in with the colony stand that he has. Yeah. 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 Because, I mean, imagine if Risotto knew about their goal and instead just walked over to the gang like, yo, what's up? Uh, would have I feel I, it would have been well, it, it was too late by that point because he already killed yeah. all of his team he would not have been yeah. willing to yeah, yeah, yeah. It, had like, Risotto known from the beginning he, he totally would have just gone to Bruna like we I we need to team up right because yeah. like, I think I think everyone in the gang kind of knows that Bruno doesn't quite like like being part of the gang yeah, uh, yeah. Everyone they're, knows they're about all it, against but the boss—they're just all. But they don't really want to go against Bruno because life. he's like. Yeah. The only one that really, like, again, it's like Fugo. He's just like, I'm not really in a place to go up against the boss. Bruno, uh, Fugo, Fugo, Fugo is not willing to have f- go. I'm not. God, so it's. it's, it's <laughs> he wasn't will. He would. It was it was a loyalty. Thing. He was hesitant. Yeah. yeah. Like if he had just give, like if they had waited just a little bit longer, he and he had given it a little more thought, then he probably would have jumped on the boat. He was hesitant. He just didn't believe that they could have done it. Yeah. And like the Which thing is, is that none of them believed that they could have done it, but there was there was a chance that they could do it, and that's and they they rode on that chance. But Fugo wasn't. Fugo is not the type of guy to have ridden Fugo on that chance. Smart, yeah, he, he doesn't take calculated one, risks. He didn't want to take the chance. He doesn't take calculated risks. He just kind of he assesses what is right in his head and realizes that they're not. We're not going to do this. Which like is it's funny not going to happen. Because because they, cause they do do it, and Fuga finds out, and it's Purple Haze feedback, where like he regrets it a lot. Yeah, yeah and, and Purple Haze feedback, like uh, like right after they leave, like he's already immediately regretting it. Yeah, yeah, which is funny because uh, it's the whole thing's kind of funny because he didn't think that a chance. But I mean, Fuga could have soloed the boss. Oh, totally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like you're. But, chance, like, that, that, like the main reading from like a writing standpoint is Rocky just didn't couldn't find a way to balance him anymore. No, no, so no. Just, a ro- no. The reason the actual the reason is because uh, at that point when he was writing, a Rocky was very like connected. Like he felt like he was a part of the gang with them. He was yeah, he was he, very connected to them emotionally, and he was not doing do good something. at the time. So he, he just couldn't because like his main plan was to make Fugo betray the gang like all the way and. Uh, go be uh, stay with the boss and try to kill them, and they would have to kill Fugo, but he just couldn't do it. So that he had to just remove Fugo altogether because he just couldn't do it. It was just like too sad. Yeah, yeah. It would uh, it would have been a huge moment. Uh, that which is uh, that's the plot of Golden Heart Golden Ring. It's what would have happened to Fugo. Yeah. Now, were Iraqi like, to have gone through with his original plan. All right. Um. Another question, like. It's it's fun to think about like what like how La Squadra's abilities would have worked with uh, the Pesian gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like a few of them are like very clearly like support based, like um, 
or and like assassination based, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like White Album and uh, Premier Show is like the ultimate combo. You know, like have White Album just hug everyone, and then Premier Show have Grateful Dead going full blast. Yeah, exactly. Um, they they really would. They the really thing of worked well. There, there is yeah. the. I do think they would have worked well. There's also part of me that thinks they Bruno wouldn't have been I willing to because they, they, uh, up, up to that point, like they didn't kill. They weren't assassins like the La Squadra was. The Squadra were assassins and they were, they were cold blooded assassins. But like Passione was not at that point, and I'm not sure if Bruno would have been completely willing to. Like also, yeah. it's like with Tiny Feet, it's just like okay, now we have. You mean Little Feet? Up, little Feet, whatever. Little feet who can just easily get up close, like spring someone down and get up close to there, like not being able to be noticed. There's also yeah, there sex was... pistols. There's there's craft work. Not no wait, craft work is wait, craft work. Is, no, craft work isn't. There was a video about I I don't remember who made it. I think it was Exports about uh, La Squadra versus the the Elite Squad, and it's like they, like if. If they if La Squadra went about it differently and just attacked Diablo Diablo directly, mm-hmm. would they have won against his elite squad? And uh, I think they probably could have. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure about Big. Only, I'm not sure. I don't think anyone else that, could beat Big except Trish. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, Big well, like, is the biggest wall standing in their way. Big yeah. is like super situational. Because yeah, like they yeah. have to such be in an like, okay, space for it to work, and over the ocean, and we are able to destroy the like the plane like that, and have it land in the ocean like that, and trap yeah. him. But there's if they no just had B I G on the ground, yeah, if, like if B I G like, was just in a town, first of all, it would wreak all sorts of havoc, yeah. and second of all, they would be able to just get away from it if they just kind of like sped walk uh, while going down a road. Yeah, or if like um, maybe. What if, what if Little Feet shrank Notorious B.I.G.? Would that have worked? No, because B.I.G. could infinitely expand. Also, what, if B.I.G. killed, if if, if if B.I.G. was like, okay, I'm sending my stand B.I.G. to kill Diavolo, and it keeps going. If Diavolo dies, does that does it then stop? No, because I don't think Carne ever had like full control of his stand. Yeah. It, it, it's like it's just like a mindless beast it just goes after what's yeah, moving cool. fastest so and album just freeze it? it it'd probably get out what mm, white album could probably like white album could probably have frozen it and they kind of gotten away maybe yeah. yeah and then they just dump it in the ocean and then yeah maybe. big is like all flesh right yeah yeah but not blood no no Meliona could have just made a homunculi to distract it too. Also, yeah, um, Malone. Yeah, Malone. Uh, oh, also, yeah, we need Malone, Babyface. Yeah, Babyface yeah. was actually a pretty powerful stand. It was. It definitely is. And the, it was mainly from because no, the, the actual stand the Babyface is the computer story. that creates a stand form, a separate yeah, stand yeah. baby yeah, form. Yeah, that fights is just a homunculi. Uh, after and that. every homunculi has a different stand power. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has a different stand power and, like, a different how strong it is, how much it matures. Yeah. Like, the reason why Babyface was as powerful as it was was because the compatibility that girl had with uh, yeah. Bruno's DNA. Yeah. So, like, if, if so like... As long as it has that, then I guess it's all right. Yeah, so, I mean, if Malone finds a someone who's, like, super compatible with whatever, then... He needs to find the perfect ship. Yeah, pretty much. So... So I like how, I like how with Malone, he just sends a venomous snake after him and it bites him and kills him. Yeah. 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 Were it not for Giorno having that ability, Malone would have followed them all the way, and they, yeah. I don't, like yeah. they would not it have made it out. The fact that that Babyface's uh, or the homunculi's ability was the opposite of Gold Experience. Yeah, they're like yeah. fucking. Gold Experience is like a, the direct counter for it. Or and vice versa. Which yeah. is a complete stroke of luck. Yeah, it is. It really yeah. is. Yeah. But, uh, that fight that fight in the anime felt a lot like filler. Which it wasn't. Yeah. It was animated really well and like but it didn't 
I'm I'm not like part of me doesn't feel like Malone had as much as like the other of La Squadra members. Yeah, like, for sure. He didn't he didn't have nowhere near. He was a lot more of like kind of like that weirdo that you kind of put up with. Yeah, like uh, like everyone like because notice Malone. I don't remember the the dialogue in the little fight all too well, but Malone was the only one that like didn't talk about resolve at all, which is kind of like yeah no. their whole thing. So like, even in La Squadra, they even they mock Little Feet. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Even though he just deter, he just showed. He just that- exploded a man. I think it's yeah. less they mock Little, F- or hmm. it's less they That's mock a Little Feet, and where they just don't really have faith in what he can do. Yeah, they don't have like. Yeah, they don't. Have- they don't have that much oh. faith in Re- for Maggio. Yeah. yeah, and he, he and he, he actually he took, that's why he took can out do the, some the pretty crazy shit. Guy. That's why he took out the politician about, guy because he's like he's a non-stand user. He's just a normal person. Of course, they can use little feet to do it. Yeah, yeah. What about um, what about gelato and sorbet? Uh, gelato and sorbet had stands, but we never see them, and we don't know what they yeah. do either. Oh, they, 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 they they had stands. They had stands. They had stands. It, it, the, be, being in the squad is like. That's like the whole initiation thing with Black Sabbath. Yeah. It's like if you if you you join the squad if you have a stand. If not, you just die. Or you're Or you go in into a world of stands without a stand. Yeah, like Le- yeah, like Luca. Dead. Like Luca who is like he was gonna die no matter what. Because he's yeah. he's in a world of stands without a stand. <laughs> he's in the world of stands with a shovel. Yeah. A shovel Luka with his shovel. name on it. No, it has SPQR on it. Oh yeah, SPQR. Which is the Roman uh, thing. Uh, Giaccio with the White Album. That was a really great fight. I fucking love that fight. I love yeah. I love White Album a lot. It's a suit fights. stand. Why did I call it Ven- Venice if it's Venezia? Yeah. It Venice? It's Venezia! <laughs> it's like beating the shit out of his dash. Uh, fucking the vo- the fucking using Bakugo for him was fucking excellent. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Who else? Uh, voice actors. Uh, I don't pay that much attention to voice actors, but fucking voice acting cast for Part Five is so good. Uh, using ever miss, uh, ever miss, huh? Hey, yeah, Bakugo's voice actor for uh, Gadget was fucking excellent choice. Uh, Deku's voice actor for Nanancia also very good. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jorno's voice actor is just the voice actor for Dio again. Really? I'm pretty sure it is. That makes sense. Check. Oh. Is it not? Oh, that's not you at all. Let me actually look it up. No. Order's voice actor arrested? What? Uh, Kenshi Ono. Yeah, no, that's I was wrong. Dio's voice actor at all. I was so wrong. D- Dio's voice actor, vo- uh, voice actor has a very distinct voice. He does. He fucking totally like, does. Can, like, if you, you can tell who he is the second you hear him. Yeah, yeah. Where is the goddamn anime on Mal? I want to fucking find it, damn it. Yeah, your fight was really good. That was a really good fight. Uh, it's one of the only suit stands. Yep, and it's done really well. It's a really good suit it's stand. The first, I think it's the first suit stand, right? Yeah, it's the first one. Uh, yeah, actually it is, yeah. I mean, yeah, in the past they've used, like, like uh, Jotaro... Uh, fucking using Star Platinum's their ability to tank dragging a claw across the concrete. The world yeah. kicked them like across the town. Like them using stands to, like jump higher and shit. Like, but that's something used yeah. always. But that's, not, that's not like f- using your stand to protect you rather than wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like but over- like the that whole uh, the whole resolve thing is just really taken to the peak with yeah. White Album. Yeah, they, like they really kicked it up to like to the max, max to the absolute. They, they kicked it up like up till then. It was kind of subtle, which is why with Gyacha, it just kind of feels like it's like way, it's way too hard, way too fast. Because yeah. like um, immediately afterwards, they don't bring it up again. But like up to like it was brought up like a bunch beforehand, but it was a lot more subtle than it is with Gyacho. Yeah, with, with the Gyacho fight was just like like the with the Gyacho fight the whole I'm time. Sure, they're t- like, they're talking about finding the light in the darkness and finding the resolve. You showed me the light in the dark. 
And the result. And then Gadget is just like, nah, it is I don't know. This bullet. Alright, so what's I feel like Gacho died in a really fun. Yeah. He got it fucking super bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. Like, he got, he died. Like, he didn't get it as bad as, like, the people who don't fucking die. Actually, yeah, let's, all of the squadra get it really bad. Yeah, they all got killed it's super bad. Sucks. Uh, fucking, yeah, like, um, yeah, well, also, we barely talked Prosciutto, about Pursuto, but that's because, per yeah, we barely talked about Pursuto, but we, that's because Pursuto was a lot more of a foil for Pesci. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, like, the way Pursuto fucking got it was bad. He got fucking crushed shred. in between those goddamn fucking yeah, trains. He didn't even. He, he didn't die instantly. I don't. Think. No, he didn't. He, did. he fucking he survived. Did. Which is the yeah, worst yeah. part. He survived. It wasn't until so, after they got off the train when he died. Yeah. So Pesci, when he get like, like diced by by uh sticky fingers, which isn't really painful in himself, but then he just drowned. Yeah. No, I mean, no, 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 no. He like he sticky fingers cut him in half with a bunch of zippers, and then he unactivated the zippers, and now he's just cut in half and dead. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, like, which is which, which is that's a pretty terrible. Uh, Gacho gets a fucking like either way, like, he was uh, dead anyways because when Bruno uh, takes apart his body, he's still not getting like blood flow, and he's not his heart isn't pumping too like the rest of his yeah, body. Like, Gacho gets a fucking metal stake through his throat. Yeah, Luzo gets through the back of his throat too. Death. Yeah, that's the worst. And fucking, uh, how did the dude, how did the little feet dude die? It was like just an explosion um, or something? Yeah, Formaggio fucking exploded. It exploded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just a fire explosion, which is which is pretty bad. And Lujo got a fucking that painful ass know. fucking virus. Uh, yeah, that he was, he yeah. He literally melted and disintegrated. From yeah, whenever his fucking, whenever the virus uh, got Milano in his hands, got and then bite. Milona got it easy, like always. Well, Milona got it easy, he just got fucking poisoned and died. Yeah, like fucking Iluso. Whenever he uh transferred back to normal, leaving the virus in the mirror world, and then it's just fucking like he just—it was just his bone, like yeah. it was just left. But he still he had, had he still, still had the resolve to get out, and then that. And... Yeah, and then he fucking die. got the full virus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That well, virus is fucking crazy. Bad. And then Risotto gets fucking, like he gets taunted. God, gets Risotto down. gets it like the more like fucking like more thematically emotionally. Risotto gets it the horrible emotionally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's because like, he, 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 so he was really confident. He he could have killed Diablo right there. He could have. He, he was not he was about on you. to. Yeah. It Diavolo, he, when he was just like eating already, frogs and then... drinking iron. Hmm. I don't know, like, that was weird. Yeah, like like. like yeah emotionally he was so confident he's just like this is it i'm gonna avenge my team right fucking here he gets right down, down and then fucking diavolo I'm pretty much taunts in front of his face as he yeah. just dies and, and by diavolo you mean fucking dopio at least at no least it was diavolo it was a diavolo yeah diavolo like switched back right as uh oh uh, yeah but we didn't see it no. uh after we the power king yeah them. Yeah, after after White Album, we uh, we finally meet the boss for the first time. Yeah. Mm. And we fully see King Crimson, which is like yeah, which is like the best the part about meeting the boss is that you don't see the boss, you never see the boss throughout that whole fight, but you fully see King Crimson. I thought it was really interesting that like that we've only ever he seen this like room. thing done like that once before where. He like with Red Hot Chili Peppers, where they're speaking through their stand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've been doing it since part three. Yeah, they've been doing it since part three. But like, he, he, like, like fucking, uh, the boss goes really hard on it. But like, yeah. it becomes his defining Peppers. character, Red King Crimson. Uh, David Pro really went hard on the idea that King Crimson is Diavolo. Yeah, like especially with, with the fucking silver that, and cherry uh, record. Yeah. Uh, King Crimson uh, slash Diavolo is Satan or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's also the part oh. of uh, both. Uh, what's it called? Diavolo, King Crimson, and what's the other? What's the other guy's name? Uh, uh, Red, Hot, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh. Mm. That both of them, their identity is onto the stand, because with the, like, with the actual user, we don't see them as much as we see the stand. Yeah. Yeah. And at all. although at least with a uh, red hot chili pepper, the stand there are the user, 
shows himself <laughs> because he was just super, feeling super good that day. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's like it's like the stand is supposed to be a part of the user, but for King Crimson, it's more the stand is separate is. from the user. Yeah, the stand, yeah, the stand is, stand is the its own so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Crimson being able to like skip ten seconds into the future is that like Diavolo's stand power? But then Epitaph is Dopio's. That definitely, like, that's definitely that's definitely yeah. what's the hard implied. Yeah. That, like, King Crimson just like steals. Uh, the thing, the thing that's the biggest thing about uh, the boss is that he doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's to. that's like that the whole point. Like it's constantly just like what yeah. what is the boss like, what exactly? Are you, like, what are you doing? That's a big part of it, part like, five. Like, is like, part five is a big I, aspect of finding the truth. Uh, which is like because there's a lot of fucking shit that happens in part five that isn't exactly explained. Yeah. Yeah, like fucking how Diablo was born from like a like an eighteen oh, month pregnancy or something. Yeah, from a the woman who was eight, who was in jail for eighteen months and did, did not show any signs of pregnancy. Yeah, and there was absolutely no way she. Oh yeah, it was two year pregnancy, no two signs. Years. Yeah, like no signs of pregnancy, and there was absolutely the no way she could have been cry. pregnant considering it was an all female. Question is question. This, this is a question. When he's when she's underneath the floor, it's like, oh, she's being kept alive somehow. How is he doing? Oh yeah. That? Uh, How? Uh, uh, in, yeah. In, wait, wait, and, wait. Like, in in, in the anime, they actually add a little more to it too, because in what, the what anime, is? they yeah, they, they say that uh, she when she got pregnant, or uh, when he was born, she her stomach just suddenly expanded. Got yeah. Full. Yeah. 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 Because it was like earlier that day, she was perfectly fine. Yeah, like the whole thing with Diablo is just like Diablo is like just fuck is up with this dude. It's it's a, it's a whole weird fucking entity. and like it's is I think the first dope. mystery is who he is. Then who it's, who he what is, the fuck is? He? What the fuck is he? How was he? Everything about like, Diavolo is, doesn't make sense, and that's about, like who what, cares about how King? And, and the only way to beat him was Diavolo with a work? different mystery. Yeah, because there's multi because like. The idea that it's multiple personality disorder, like, it's not multiple personality, it is multiple people. Like multiple people. It's two it's like, people. That's just, that's just, that's just, like, the best explanation they had for it. It's like, it's like Dopio, I think, is, like, the main person, because I'm pretty sure Dopio was born, because Dopio was, like Dopio is the like one who was, uh, with, uh, Trisha's mom. Yeah, yeah Dopio was the one who was born, like, it was, it's Dopio. But with King, I, with Diablo's influence. I think Diablo's it's the influence. idea that it's, it's, like, Diavolo is, again, like, Satan, and he's possessing him. Definitely, that's definitely something yeah. that's hard in there. Yeah. That he's, like, under the influence of Satan, or the devil, yeah. or yeah. like, Diavolo. Yeah, like, it's Dapio's everything, but with under Diavolo's fucking, like, lead and influence. Yeah. He just became, like... The way. Who was that girl under the floorboards? Was that Trisha's mom? His mom. That, that was his mom. It was. His mom. It was? Yeah, yeah, I think that was Trisha's mom. No, I think yeah. it was a random woman because no, she because Trisha's, Trisha's mom, mom had to no, give birth. No, no, no. It was uh, Diavolo's mom. It was Dapio's mom. Yeah, Dapio's mom. Because at one, because at one it's heavily point, implied that at, it was like at, at one point he saw her again, uh, and that's no, gave they him the met, weird and obsession with bloodlines and how you could be. Uh, track down through your blood. Yeah. Because this woman, who is his mother, through the fact that she is his mother, that alone is what uh, was enough for her to find him. And it caused that weird obsession with bloodlines. Yeah. And that's what and kind of that's like, what Diavolo that's is. What is. And that's what he wants to eradicate. To be the thing that fractures his mind. Yeah. Into like yeah. both Diavolo and Dopio. I just, I yeah. fucking and love And then Diavolo Dopio's burns the town down. Diavolo's psychology. And and even, yeah. Dopio's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dopio's, like, he's he's pretty innocent. Yeah, that, it's, Dopio it's being really as innocent small. as he is could also just be, like, a hard allegory to, like, the influence yeah, well, of the he devil. He has a temper. Yeah, the yeah, influence he does. of the literal devil. Of the literal devil. <laughs> I, I bet he chose. I bet he chose the name Diavolo, 
And it was just like, hell yeah, man, that's sick as hell. <laughs> that, like, Diavolo probably that, named it himself. It actually is an alternate personality. Def- do, 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 Diavolo crazy. definitely just named himself. Yeah. Like, Diavolo, it's just... like, it's part of Dopio, but it's definitely, like, a separate entity of some sort. Yeah. And that's why, like, it's more, like, that's why uh, Diavolo is more, like, a, more like King Crimson than he is a yeah, yeah. I mean, when when their souls get swapped, it's it doesn't show Diavolo; it shows King Crimson. The thing that's yeah. so fucking weird about it is that there's three the three people who are Diavolo. Yeah. Dapio, I think Dapio. No, no, no. Dapio never existed. He what, Dapio doesn't die. He just straight up never ex- had his body because. Fuck no, Dapio is Diavolo's body, which Bruno is in. Yeah, yeah, Dapio is Diavolo's body. Yeah, well, fucking it's his body, but the body changes to better. See yeah, what straight up. Yeah, Diavolo like, is Diavolo is the secondary personality that kind of like, yeah, like changes the body to suit him. Yeah, like Diavolo is like it, it, Diavolo. It's, it's Dapio's Diavolo body the entire the body, time, but, but whenever Diavolo, yeah. yeah, whenever Diavolo takes control. His body, his body physically it. morphs. Yeah, yeah, physically morphs yeah. into that of like a forty-year-old man. It would like complete like a costume change. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it, it's not really his body since when that was Soul Swap. It's just King Crimson. Yeah, it's more just it's Dopio's body, but form, but like changed to better suit King Crimson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, and then slowly King Crimson became his own entity yeah yeah They're and like babies. just started calling himself diavolo or some shit and then when it, yeah. when all like the when all the souls got swapped around and then dopio because dopio was the original one he actually swapped the body for some for an empty body meanwhile diavolo who's just like catching a ride on dopio catches a ride on someone else mm, that might be it that makes sense yeah anyways we should we should probably backtrack a bit yeah because yeah. we totally yeah skipped, clash uh, Clash, Clash and Talking Head, uh, Squalo and Tiziano. I stand by what I say. Me cool, talking Head is stupid. Talking Head is a, is good. You no, know, I I think Min, it's stupid. You're you're a bitch. And talking I'm Head good. works because like the point of Talking Head is to like uh, misconceive them so that they get separated so that Clash could take no, care of them. No, no, that I I like that part. Mm. The thing I find stupid is the fact that he's a part of the Elite Squad. That's mm-hmm. like I yeah. He, like if it were just like, like maybe on. I feel like I'm like, doing... the only thing that would make Clash like have good synergy with it is just like, it's just if you talking head an idiot, which is why they were such a problem. Because if we talk, yeah, why head, they? Like, that's why they come to Ring Narissa, Russia. To be yeah, honest, like, I I didn't I didn't really enjoy that fight very much. I enjoyed it a lot. Didn't either. I didn't I was... either because. The whole thing of like, oh, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you. What yeah, yeah, that that whole like, bit whatever. where like it's like, but I, like we're there, they don't not. understand. But like the thing is, you have to think about the, the, up to it. You have to think idea. about it up to this point. It's like Noranti is always a fucking idiot. Up to this point, they've never exactly completely trusted Norantia because it's it, Noranti is always like that up to that point. But Jorno, Jorno doesn't know Norantia completely, so he he immediately realizes that something is wrong. Like with with like Talking Head and um, what's it called Alessi? Just like it pisses me off because like it's just like oh yeah, uh, I don't know what to say to you as a stand attack, so nothing's gonna happen. It's it, it, it's real. It, I just don't like that as a running yeah. device. Yeah. Uh, but after after that, the part where Naranch is chasing them down is definitely the best part of that fight. Yeah. Yeah, where they're just chasing them Clash, down. Clash is really cool. Yeah. But yeah. that fight's, in my opinion, is brought down as a talking head. Uh, I do, I, uh, like, yeah, it's brought down, but, like, the actual theme between the characters, Squalo and Tiziano, that shit's great. Yeah, that's, that's no, fun. The that's character, fucking the gay as fuck. Great. I just don't, I just don't like talking heads as a stand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah honestly. I, I think like, it The characters somewhere. are really good. I, I, I like. I, I think talking head works, but. Then what's next after that? 
uh, uh, after gay shit and more uh, kind of. Notorious B.I.G. Right? Yeah, Notorious B.I.G. After uh, after I wanted to wanted to mention this, like I'm not doing that. He doesn't want to kill Naranzi for the boss anymore. He's doing it for himself and for Squalo. Yeah. And Tiziano, yeah. I mean, Squalo's doing it for Tiziano. Yeah, like like I said, I, I like those two. Oh, so it's it's great. just talking head. It's still so great. Uh, yeah, Carne, who is, dies immediately in Notorious B.I.G. Yeah. Is that his name? His name is Carne. It's Carne. It's meat. It's literally meat. Yeah. Wow. That's very fitting. Yeah, he's very, yeah. very he's beefy. Steady. He's a very... <laughs> he's very I... beefy, and his stand is even beefier. Yeah. The thing with Notorious B.I.G. is that, like, it's not all that, like, you know, it's not all that interesting, but it's a force of nature. And that it's makes a force of nature. And that makes it's it not, It's more. not a stand anymore. It's just, yeah. an, an, it's just an entity of destruction. It is. It really is. So the thing that other people can't see it, so, like, what, it's like, oh, yeah, sometimes ships wreck in that area and people die. It's just, they're getting attacked by an invisible sea monster. Yeah, they are. Pretty much. B.I.G. is an, uh, is that fight uh, is very good. The only person who could have taken Big out was does, does Trish. Does like, some, some small, like, mind-reading powers? Because when he's on Drano's arm, he, like, writes with his thoughts or something. Am I remembering that wrong? I think that they might have just planned that they'd get on that or something. Hmm. They might have I don't know what that was. I don't remember that. Uh, uh, but on the when with along with the big, we also meet uh, Spice Girl, Trish's really stand. Which is actually my, my favorite part. Four hey, stand. what's up, part five stand? Favorite, hey. it's favorite one. Oh, it's your favorite stand. Yeah, it's my favorite stand. Which is weird because nice. I contradict myself being a hip. I'm a hypocrite because I say I can't like Purple Haze the most because he only has one fight, and then Trish only has one fucking fight. <laughs> Wait, yeah. did we, did we hey, Lemon, do, uh, that's the thing we can agree on. It stands. That's the one thing we can agree on. Yeah, we figured it out. Did we skip Metallica? No. No, not yet. Metallica's like way out. Uh, no, Metallica's just... right after Big. Yeah, right after. Oh, I, I, did want, I did want to talk about more. Uh, they did fucking excellent with Spice Girl. Yeah. yeah, they did. The stand cry, Wannabe, that's amazing. Wannabe's the best. I remember reading it and fucking, I remember being on the courtyard at school, reading Wannabe, and okay. just go like, oh! <laughs> yeah! Hearing it. I remember talking to some friends while, because uh, I had just gotten them into JoJo's, and I was reading the manga, and I was like uh, partway through part five, and uh, they were mentioning stand cries, so I went through a list of stand cries, and I just see one and goes, Wanna be? Wanna be? That's fucking weird. Who the fuck gonna say that? It's spicy. Uh, and I just, part, I just fucking part five is the best started shitting on it and making fun of it. Easily. And then when I got to Spice Girls, it fucking became one of my favorite stand cries. Hell yeah, it's the best. Part five is the best stand cries, and I hate that Araki hasn't fucking uh, done anything more after that. So when um when Trish just goes Ari Vaderchi. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what she she fucking told that. like, cause like, cause to Trish, uh, Bruno's a huge Bruno's influence. Like, he, Bruno like, is basically her dad. her dad, yeah, and she like, yeah. so it's a huge influence for her. So of course she's gonna say every other day. I know it's great, Bruno. There's absolutely no way Bruno was able to get this across to her, but I hope she somehow found Bruno's fucking country home that uh, he was. Oh yeah, totally. About. Totally, fucking told him, man. There's, there's, like, there's no way he could have told her, but yeah, I hope no. she somehow found out. No, nah, no, nah, it was the gold experience requiem, man. It was the gold experience requiem told her, yeah. That's okay. It's sure. my fucking headcanon. Yeah, anyways. Gold experience requiem definitely. Oh, actually, though, in theory, though, she probably didn't, mostly because she's probably just hanging out with Mista now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just like to think. I, like, I also like that potential. She probably did learn of it, but, like, she chose not to. Or she chose to at least go there, like, later on in life. Yeah, like, yeah, later on in life. Just wants to hang out with her best friends more. Yeah, her only, her friends. only friends. really. <laughs> God, yeah, fucking... Oh, friend. my, I'm just remembering her, and she's like, I'm gonna go back to school. Oh, I'm gonna eat a pipe and oh, no. pizza. Stop, uh, man. <laughs> and I'm gonna go say hi to Fugo. And immediately... No. Immediately... No. Uh, <laughs> Like, oh. Araki couldn't have waved that death leg even <laughs> He waved it so hard. He went hard. 
He didn't wave the so, death flag. He took it out and hit us in the fucking face and impaled us with the pole. <laughs> what he he just landed like? us. <laughs> you know those like you know those like the Air Force flag signals where it's like they have the two flags and they do like those signal flags. Yeah, like that's that's what it was. That's what Rocky was doing. Yeah. yeah oh, and then man. he led the plane directly into a, the fucking ground. Yeah, <laughs> like nose dive into the trees. <laughs> into the into your heart. <laughs> Wait, this is an underworld. Anyways, the, uh, uh, Spice Girl, I love her. Uh, I love Trish. She's great. So the Spice yeah. Girl is actually sentient. D- yeah. She's not yeah. sentient after this, but like I, uh, this definitely does show that no, stands are at least semi sentient at the beginning it, to explain. It might to be you. just like Trish's in like consciousness telling her what she really wants to do. Yeah. So like it's probably it's like, probably it like I feel like Trish like Spice Girl does talk a bit like talks more with Trish sometimes maybe, but I was definitely at the beginning it was just like I need to motivate my user right now. Also, else I'm gonna fucking die. Yeah, like her inner conscious is just like, come on, we need to like, get the fuck up. We because like go. this is like this is it is Trish. This is what Trish wants to do, but she can't make herself. She can't motivate herself to do it. Then she did. And then she did with a sand. Uh, I love that bit where she sang a Rivadalci. That shit was animated really nicely. Yeah, she looked oh, adorable. Yeah. I fucking love her. Yes. Uh, after that, it is, yeah, Metallica. And this is my Detroit, favorite yeah, stand. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Metallica is really fun. Metallica like is it. very it's cool. Uh, it's, it's actually the close the mo- the closest range uh col- colony stand. Yeah, and it's yeah, also it's, like, I like it really hammers in home that like Risotto is the, the an assassin. Yeah, like this yeah. is like the perfect. This assassin. is an assassin stand. This is the stand of an assassin. Like this is the stand of like anti personnel completely. Yeah. Like being able to like spawn scissors just straight up in your throat. God, that's so fucking metal. I remember, yeah. I, I remember reading the manga and just fucking seeing fucking scissors and razor. Like I'm seeing yeah. Dopio barf up razor blades. Yeah, <laughs> it was a fucking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> real, real quick, whenever he dug out the scissors, does that help any more than just the scissors cutting out? Fucking, it probably hurts less. I feel it does. Are you sure? Because it just, like it probably the scissors, like, gonna, uh, the scissors were gonna close and kill him. Yeah, I was so actually. Him cutting it out was him using the scissors to cut it out of himself instead of it cutting him. his fucking throat out. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, it's a cool stand. I like that. It's a cool stand. I like the little tiny stand so forms, good. which are just like. Oh, yeah, it, which, just like, which aren't actually a so, thing. They're just the fucking representations of the yeah. metal. Yeah. Really? So we uh okay. we fused the group Remember back when you then? said uh the colony the yeah. colony stands colony. are like because they're uh, broken inside. Yeah, they're in broken. Way? They're missing a I part think, of themselves. I think themselves. the fact that it, that the stand is inside of him really shows that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I like how like, he uses the stand. It's like he has stand. a void inside himself that he wants to fill. Yeah. Thus, the stand is in him. Yeah, I, I like how uh he used Metallica. Not as just like I'm gonna summon sharp objects inside of you, but instead did cool shit like fucking turn invisible, magnetism, yeah. shit yeah. like that. That was yeah. cool. Like also not to mention like he didn't he wasn't like he yes he was trying to use the razor blades and needles to like kill him just from then and there, but like the secondary effect of it was like using as much metal as possible because he like even if he would have failed, which he like he never plans to. Uh, he uh, fucking he still would have died because all the metal loss, the loss of iron in your blood. Yeah, like Dapio should have died. Dapio should have fucking died. Like unlike everyone else who's gone through, like like everyone else has like a healer of the group. Yeah, like Joseph has was the potential healer. Josuke was. Jorno, Dapio had literally no one to heal. Yeah, but, he had a, but, he had a magical frog. Okay. <laughs> a frog that also doubles as a phone. Yeah, Weather like fucking... report put it there for him, okay? Yeah. Still, though, fucking... Dapio should have died then and there. Yeah, he should have. Like, I... like, if not from the pure blood loss, then the fact that you just... You have zero iron. Yeah. The wounds, just like, everything stacking on him is just like... You... 
You should have died there, buddy. Yeah, but yeah. you know. Yeah. You can't have we can have risotto. I like I like I like uh risotto near this design. It's really cool. It's very good. It's so cool. Just stockings, man. Risotto is just mm-hmm. Risotto is really cool. He's a cool Metallic guy. Metallic is really cool. Uh, we also meet uh Dopio. Oh yeah, that was when we meet Dapio and uh, We already had a whole fucking conversation about Dopio. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't need to say much. But uh, his quirk telephone. about the telephone he, is definitely he's interesting. Yeah. He's <laughs> boy, and that's really all we need to do. <laughs> the way he like completely is convinced that yes, that is a phone. Yeah, he's complete. Like he Who picks up the a cigarette around like, here. He's just like, hey, idiot! Did you did you just lied to me? There's a phone right here. Yeah. Man, like, modern technology is amazing. They have phones everywhere. And the taxi driver's just like, the <laughs> fuck, dude. What are you? What, <laughs> what the fuck? Boss. Bossa. Uh, boss. Bossa. Uh, it's also where we'd find out about Epitaph. Yes. Yeah. Which is like total which I it's like his stand. Yeah. Perfect synergy with King Crimson though. Yeah, it, it is. Because without Epitaph, King Crimson is just doing shit willy nilly. Yeah. He's just like, well, this doesn't look very good for me. So let's hope with like, skip it and hope nothing goes wrong. So, let's <laughs> skip and hope and then <laughs> Skip and cross her fucking fingers. I yeah. feel like the detail uh, really Epitaph liked was it. formed because of King Crimson. Yeah, yeah maybe. He could be. When, when, maybe when, uh, influenced Gold Experience... what his stand was going to be. When Gold Experience Requiem, uh, like, started attacking King Crimson, was like, like, uh, destroying him, mm-hmm. uh, it actually broke, like, the face on, on his forehead, like, yeah. meeting Epitaph, like, 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 Kind of like saying, like, yeah, Dopio and Epitaph, like, they aren't in the picture anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like, see that. is, like, attacking directly. Yeah. Just, like, like an into him. Uh, a, cool, a cool thing about Epitaph is that it was in his bangs that he, uh, he could seize it. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's one of those things where it's, like, like, I'm sure it doesn't actually have to be like that, but it just kind of bound itself to that just because it's convenient. And, and yeah, and plus, like, I mean, if, it's more convenient if, to the viewer. If Risotto, to, for it. if Risotto just, like, made a pair of scissors and cut his hair, then fucking it'd be his win. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, like, that's what Dopio did just because, like, he was an idiot. Yeah, because King uh, Crimson didn't need it. Yeah, King Crimson could just yeah. see. King Crimson just does it. It's kind of like time. Diablo, like, and then Diablo do it, does it. They, he could do it, and he could see like ten seconds into the future. And he could skip past that, but he needs a few seconds to recharge. Yeah, he can't just do that consecutively over and over again. So he can't spam it. I feel like the uh, just real, real quick tangent is like the reason why time stop is not spammable unless you're Dio because you're. Yeah, but the reason time yeah, stop is not spammable is not. because like. Like, I guess for, like, a split second, you're kind of stopping yourself, I guess. Because you're stopping, like, your own body. Similar to how Jotaro fucking stopped his own heart, I guess. Yeah. And uh, King Crimson, it's it's more spammable because you're not really affecting yourself in any way. Yeah, and but... In fact, you, you just don't exist Yeah. whenever you activate it, so... Uh, the thing with sand powers is that it does, like, take part of you. It's basically stamina, like, running a marathon... Yeah. So, you, like, you could spam it, but you'd probably kill yourself. Yeah. Like, like Jotaro could totally spam time stop. I'm pretty sure he starts spamming it at the end of part six. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He starts fucking yeah, spamming it, like but he can't spam time. it too hard because he'd fucking kill himself. His heart would stop. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's a whole thing in part like six. It's basically anyway. be him running a marathon, but his heart's also not working. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Green Day and Chocolata, and also Sacco oh, by Extension. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you got you know, something else? Not nah, Drago. Your thoughts on Abaccio's death? Your oh, on yes. I, your, your I, I, the part of me wanted to avoid it. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about it. It's sad. I love the fact that he dies, and then it seems useless. Like, his efforts didn't matter. It does. It does. Yeah. Like, it, it, they mattered, but it really doesn't feel that way at the moment. Yeah. 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 Like he time, just dies and just kind of like you, you see, uh, you you see Moody Blues start to disappear, 
and you know that at that moment, if he if it's all gone, his efforts didn't matter. Then, yeah. Then he yeah, then like he nothing. forces it. He forces it to matter. He forces like yeah. meaning into what what he was doing. Yeah. Uh, the fucking scene at the bus stop. Yeah. <sighs> it's, like, mm. it's like it's like oh I got a warning but it's like Abakio. You've done just fine. Oh man. Yeah, Narancha really made the scene. Oh yeah, yeah, I fucking he, like, I, that was that was just an ex- that was an excellent job with this voice actor. Like, I was uh, like I was just like sitting like there the like fine and dandy. Person. Like I was already my the man tears were already out the bu- at the bus stop because I completely my brain managed to block it out out of sadness. <laughs> and then I just came up because like oh no. Oh no. Like I was I was doing fine and dandy. And then the second Naranchi just started talking, it was just like, it was when it was just kind of like, like the one tier, just kind of like, and you're no heal him. It's like, we can't leave him. <laughs> you, can't. you can't bring him back, though. Mm. I mean, he maybe could have, but. Mm. <laughs> uh. made Naranchi cry. Oh, I love it. I love your butt show. But yeah, m- more specifics on your thoughts, Rago? Um, I don't really have specific thoughts. No, you don't think? <laughs> Sorry. I just don't really have much of an opinion on it. It's sad. Mm. Well, fucking, I'm gonna say fuck you. And uh, Abaccio is, like, his stand is very connected to what who he is and his regrets. Yeah, just wanting to go back to the past and change what happened. Like he, like he wants to go back to the past, but he can't change it. All he can do is replay it and see it. Yeah, it really is a fitting stand, especially for, because isn't he like Canon the strongest one? Physically, like, out of all, f- of physically, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Bruno. So right. the fact that he he's physically the strongest one. Yet his stand isn't combat oriented at all. No. You know, having his partner already being waiting there at the station yeah. and having his partner talk to him about like it may feel useless, but it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not as long as you can help at all at the end of the day. And that's what makes him force meaning into him dying. Yeah. Oh, man. Just in all, his his death was really well done. It was really good. And Arancio, fucking, uh, he made it so much sadder. Yeah. Uh, oof. He's already he's already like the youngest one, uh, mentally, because he's like. Oh, yeah, for sure, mentally. Right. Yeah, he's like he's seventeen. He's like the yeah, second oldest, not the second yeah. oldest teen, not counting Bruno. And- so, but like fact, mentally, he's fact, like because it, it, it's like way lower. It's like when 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 because he he's just begging basically for he's, he's begging for some well, some way for him to come back. Like he's like it's begging so Jorno to just heal him. Yeah, and to bring him back, and how they can't leave him there. Ah. <sighs> Especially because at that point you feel so connected to the rest of the rest of the uh, members. The rest of the gang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, let's um. Do find yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can, yeah. Let's get off this feels train real quick. Yeah, let's get off we of that. Can, uh, we can dwell on we can dwell on death later. Yeah, we can. Talk, yeah, that's gonna. Be, ooh, 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 ooh. We still have part six after this too. Oh, yeah. Man. Keep going. <laughs> they had part six of the genocide technique. Oh God, it's, it's like eight right now, and I haven't even eaten. Uh, it's fine. Who needs food? Yeah. Who needs we food? Fuck it. Uh, so, uh, Polnareff, we, we see him, we t- he talking to him, but we don't yeah. know he's Polnareff. Yeah. The crippled civil chariot. Uh, he really he, just had no clue. Yeah, well, he gives That's us, Polnareff. he gives us the lowdown on the arrows, which is like alien bullshit. Uh, which like, is it, it being Polnareff is like genuine, like holy shit. Yeah, it is. it is. It's not one of those things you expect. 
I, I definitely didn't expect them. Yeah, for sure. It was a pleasant surprise. It was a pleasant surprise. For sure. So Silver Chariot also losing its limbs. Yeah. Uh, I hate, I hate, I hate the people who say that Polnar if wasn't like he didn't mean it was just it's just fan service he didn't need to be there it's like fuck you like of course Polnar fucking kept looking for sand arrows after the end of part three like yeah. fucking what yeah. the fuck do you think he was gonna do like Jodoro went looking in Dying. America and Asia meanwhile uh, Polnar looked in Europe and Africa yeah I mean it, I mean if if Polnar wasn't gonna do that then he would have been in part. Yeah, he would have been part. Of, he would have been part four. I like the fact that Jotaro's kind of like the, because uh, Joseph's like the seasoned member in uh, Stardust Crusaders. Uh, Jotaro's the uh, the leader kind of of uh, the Duane gang, and then Ponoruf is in kind of helps uh, Passion in finding the only way to defeat Diablo. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so. If if he wasn't there, they were fucked. There was no way they were gonna beat Diablo. Yeah. Yeah, they they wouldn't have been able to without so, Hugo, they wouldn't have been able to touch him. No. no. Well people always say it's like, oh, like they needed like oh it's like, oh, they actually needed the Requiem era and Gold Experience Pokemon just to counter Crane Crimson's ability. Yeah. No. I mean, like to completely just like kill off Diavolo easily, then yes. But like, you don't, yeah. you don't, you were getting there. They were good. They were getting there, but they probably wouldn't have gotten there in time. Like, like, like Fugo instantly just like use the virus yeah. instantly kills. There's nothing he, he can't block that shit. Like they probably could have done it. Like they were, they could have done it if they had. They weren't, you know, working against the fucking cherry requiem, and the requiem yeah. arrow wasn't yeah. already there. And if Diavolo got it, it would fucking yeah. If everyone were to just like, because they they know what he could do. Yeah, he, like they know what he can. So if they just like all just straight like did like a tactical charge against him, then they could have won. Yeah, like my thing is like if you if you put Risotto, uh, Fugo up against him at once, like both. Using up all of his iron and his blood, and using the virus on him. There's no way he can like, like you can't get out of the fucking virus in the in the skip time. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, like the second it affects you, you're just dead. Yeah, like you could see well, it actually, happening in skip time and get away before it like hits, but like he still, still got more, and he's still gonna keep going. Yeah, like, like eventually right. it's gonna get you. It's a fucking huge ass area of effect. It's not a, like a single strike. And especially, like, especially if Risotto was also there, and fucking like you're not yeah, gonna like, be able to run. Constantly hounding him. Isn't isn't uh, Diavolo like invincible within the same I'm time? I'm not sure. It's not clear. I think it is. I yeah, think, yeah, I think yeah, he, he might be. Yeah, because if because yeah, I think is, in the skip time he just, just doesn't exist. Yeah, that might be what it is. Yeah, because when when he skips time, the bullets straight up go, go through. through him and into uh, yeah. Into Risotto. yeah, yeah, that's Smith. Because I imagine within skip time, he could just walk through, uh, through the virus, and it wouldn't affect him. Yeah. And then he could kill. Still, he has to come out eventually. He has to get out of it. Yeah, he has to like get out of it. He only yeah, has like, ten seconds to get out of that fucking area of effect. Yeah. yeah, but Jotaro can do a lot of a lot of shit in two seconds. Yeah. So in ten. Do you think? Do you think someone in the stop time say Jotaro stops time and he has enough time to walk into the area of effect and out of the area of effect and he on any time resumes? Would do you think he'd still be affected by the virus or not? Uh, if he doesn't take stop any time, no. virus with him. Yeah, I don't think. Stop. <laughs> but like, he can move things within stop time. So could the virus cling to his clothes? Close while he's in stop time, and then when he gets out of it, would it still affect him then? I think it, it would have. I think it would affect him because it's not like King Crimson where it, he becomes like incorporate. He just doesn't exist in the skip time. He does exist in the stop time. The just time to just stop though. Yeah, but it, like it doesn't even take place in like in a second. It just happens immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Anyways, uh, Green Day. And, Green Day uh, and Oasis. Oh God. Green Day is uh, stupid. Chocolate and Psycho. Green Day dumb. 
Like, Green, like Day, it's, Green Day is fucking it's, great. It, like, I, it's a good stand. I fucking hate the user. Like, it's just like, Day, okay, just go lower. If you go lower, you die. That's it. Like, what do you, like, that shit. I, I just feel as though that, that the, the wind condition is altitude. Yeah. That, no, because, like, I, I, fucking, like, Chocolata takes it to the logical conclusions. Like, okay, the higher I am than the than the uh the 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 area where you have to be below uh it goes higher so obviously the conclusion is get in a fucking helicopter which is smart that's some smart ass shit I it's understand. like it's not even smart it's just like the of course is, this is what you fucking do it, yeah the thing is why didn't he do that in the beginning because he didn't have access to the helicopter immediately sure he went to rome to get the helicopter and their second like his helicopter. But hey, we, we got like in rich. that fight. In that fight, we got probably one of the best scenes ever in JoJo. The fucking yeah, the seven, seven page, page Muda. Muda. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, Oasis. Uh, Oasis is another suit stand. Yeah, it's, it's the stand. one of the only suit stands, both in the same part. Yeah, but one's better. It's not as good as Whiteout. No. In terms of just. Yeah. How but the idea good. of swimming through the ground is definitely an interesting one. I do really like the fight between him and Bruno, though. Yeah, yeah. That was a good fight. That was a very good fight. Mm -hmm. It was a really good fight for Bruno's especially, last, like, proper yeah. fight. Yeah, especially how Bruno basically mimics what Seko does. Yeah. Bruno got out of that fucking league through pure luck. Mm. He's also like, yeah, he lost his sight at Which the end of it. Is fine, because he was gonna die anyway. Yeah. Chocolata is a fucking bastard, man. Yeah. Uh, Rocky's very good at making just like fuck this guy. <laughs> like fuck this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's by killing a dog. Yeah, usually it's killing a dog, but how about fucking uh fucking torturing about, like, old people? Yeah, torturing old people. Just video recording everyone misery. Making them watch as you fucking rip out their but in, organs. But in, the end, but in the end, he really did love Seko. Uh, yeah, he, that's... I'm really glad that David Productions just went, like, all the way with that. It's like, yeah, no, he, that was... That's gay. I fucking... That's... I'm not sure... I'm not sure really how to feel about it, because it's not really wholesome, I would say. It's not. But, like, they went, they went with it, and that's how, that's how it was in the manga, and they went with and it. It's like, all like, right. Give me a break. That guy's an idiot. Yeah, and Seko's yeah. a fucking... And, Seko, and then Seko, you immediately feel immediately for Seko. It's like, oh, yeah, he's yeah, also a fucking Seko bastard. Away from him, he's just kind of... Yeah, he was yeah, weak. He's... He was a bastard. He was weak. I'm stronger. I also like... Uh... <laughs> kind of why he died. <laughs> How with... Uh... Whenever he was in the dumb truck... He was just like, oh, chocolate. Oh, what's good, man? Like, yeah, what's good? Oh, hi, Ma like, oh, uh, hi, I like Mark. to imagine he just looked for the sugar cubes. <laughs> that's, the, that's, like, that's, probably, that's the funniest shit because he got knocked into that fucking dump truck the exact same way. And then they sure, like, oh, hey, chocolate. It's the exact yeah. same dump then truck. Eventually, they're just going to get crushed by the truck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ch fucking Seko was already dying at that point. Um, uh, yeah. He died. He would have died of blood loss either, right? Yeah. And yeah, Chocolata yeah, fucking yeah. dead as shit. Yeah, they, they, they had, yeah. they, they, and even they had then, a sweet wholesome moment trash. in there. It's burning trash. It's burnable it's, trash, yeah. There's a moment in there before they die, trust me. It's it's fine. Well, they're burning it I mean, the dude, I mean, Chocolata, if Giorno hit him with the fucking life giver punches, oh, yeah. he would have died like page five. Because <sighs> this is the amount of yeah. pain that he's going through. Yeah. Uh, fucking that seven page mood was okay. excellent. Yeah. Uh, now the the only really stand left is Chariot Requiem. Yeah. Uh, there's one. I a chair, the seven page mood is excellent. I do feel like the re was a little lacking though. I I have to say. The re was good, but like it kind of got lost in a sea of mudas. Yeah, it was a great read. It was yeah. it was still really fucking good. I never got whether stands powered up. Hmm? Like, wh when they're when they body swapped, when their stance powered up. Yeah, all right. So, but like uh, like after that, they get to the Coliseum. They meet uh, Polnareff. Polnareff explains backstory and shit. Yeah, and then and then the and then like asks 
uh, Dopey will just show him his panties. Yep. It's just like, wait a second. It wasn't Trisha Girl it was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love Dopey. You're just trying to bullshit it. Yeah. I have a, I have I like a with it, then, which is. I like how even then, uh, Ponorev is kind of fucking with him. Yeah. I like I hate how Polnareff is just like he he like bites his finger and he like checks the blood drops and he's like okay I have to be quick with this I have to get him in, I have to get him with a nice good quick uh, hit in order to take him out he doesn't take Chariot's armor off he just like takes Chariot and then hits him and misses it and just like and uh Twoon it's like yeah it didn't do shit and that's another detail about Chariot Chariot's also missing his legs and that's really cool yeah. Chariot Requiem is a uh, oh boy. Chariot Requiem's fucking cool. Yeah, so the fucking boss, boss fucking kills Polar. And yeah, straight up. Straight up. And then it, and then it yeah. goes to a backstory on fucking fucking Polar. I've just first beating the boss and then getting completely eviscerated. Yeah. Which, which was like, I oh, he, he got anno- he got annihilated way worse than I thought he did. And then he gets the the arrow stuck behind a behind a cupboard. No, but fucking, I want to mention Paul Nerf got fucked way harder than I th- remember he did, because I remember him getting fucked, but he got punched, and his fucking arms and legs flew off. Yeah. <laughs> and then he landed on a rock. Yeah. And, and then how, how did he get the single rock? That? He landed on it. On yeah. <laughs> how, did, how, did, how did any of them survive it? I don't fucking know, man. Like, fucking... Uh, and Polnareff really, really, really just is uh, really adamant about how it was like by pure imagine, accident that I happened to do this, and it was pure accident that I picked my finger. I like to imagine while he's in the wheelchair, he has Silver Chariot uh, push it. Probably. Yeah. Because Silver Chariot also, could like, float, so it was fucking, yeah. I also like how Silver Chariot fucking. I'm pretty sure there's a thing in part three about Stan's carrying the users or something. And then in part five, he just. Silver Chariot just fucking. Flings Polnareff. Oh yeah, that was the best part. Yeah. <laughs> Silver Chariot straight up eating Polnareff away. No, no, no. I like how uh, he throws him like about like a good meter or two. Yeah. And then, and then Crim- King Crimson's like, "Yeah, you're already in my range." Meanwhile, he's still fa- he's still flying. It's like, no, I think he's out of your range by now. <laughs> he's still fucking eating away, Christ. I love that fucking. That I love definitely more than. T- that was definitely more than two meters. <laughs> he fucking yeeted him in the direction of, like, the fucking first floor of the Coliseum. Yeah, like, there's no way King Crimson can actually reach. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Dude, fucking King Crimson's range is weird. Yeah. It's like, you need, like, Dobby, you need to be a two meter. And then fucking, he was, like, right up Risotto's face. Yeah. And did nothing. No, he was on the the boss was on his way. He was still skateboarding over. <laughs> yeah, he was on his way. <laughs> Don't worry, Dapio. I'm on my way. <laughs> Ooh. So Ooh. Chariot Requiem being just like this primal thing, this primal being. Yeah. Uh, first, the first things first about Chariot Requiem. Uh, that that's the actual conquistador thing that my brain was going for. Yeah. Where it's like the the hat, the French sort of aesthetic, just goes all in. Yeah, it's very good, very good. Uh, also, oh, it burns the stands against the. Against uh, for a very long time before we had the good translations of Part Five, we thought that the Requiemero gave you what you needed most in that time. Really? Yeah, that's what yeah. we used to think, but yeah. it's it's not what it does. But that's what we thought it did because Chariot, because all Chariot Requiem was wanted to do was get away. When really that was just a secondary thing to like the fucking body swap and then the bringing Eldritch beings from another fucking universe and then also making your stand more powerful and keeping you away from the arrow. What was that about Eldritch beings from another universe? Don't you remember the Eldritch beings? But oh yeah, it, it's no, 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 no. swapping souls. It wasn't nilly. No, Even it's like, from, like other it isn't. Dimensions. I don't think it's Eldritch. I think it's like it's not that. taking it's not the that. It's evolutionary, not taking no, the ev- starts, evolutionary makeup. In yeah, that might be. It starts bringing in just, things just destroying that, it that don't exist. No, I'm, it was bringing in beings that from that don't exist. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, which is why yeah. I said Eldritch beings. And that just starts. That starts actually just fucking with reality. Yeah. 
starts doing something with the actual reality of uh, no not the reality of the like uh, we don't exactly know what the fuck it was doing because like we just fuck we just stop it immediately do. afterwards like no fuck you i don't know what you're doing the requiem's fans are just beyond us and yeah i think i think the i think what was happening is that since ch the chariot requiem was incomplete it was just developing fucking powers willy-nilly and since yeah. this user is technically yeah, not in his body anymore, it's not controlling it. Yeah, he's like, there's no way. Like, Polnarv already couldn't control it, but he just, yeah. he just fucking, he, like, the user's straight up dead. Yeah, Inside so, Polnarv probably play. didn't know what the fuck it, it was capable of. Yeah. So, after yeah. Uh, Chariot Requiem, uh, like, uh, got murked. I would also just want to mention that the, uh, the constant, like, even more pushing of fate with uh, Polnareff just accidentally fucking pricking himself with the arrow. Yeah. Fate, Rolling Stones. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. We're not we'll over with... The, the, we'll, we'll, get we'll, get we'll get to that later. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We'll get there a little later. Uh, because in the manga, uh, just these, like, it all ended. It all ended. We even got the fucking Finn thing. And then immediately afterwards, there was still one more, like, a couple, like, two chapters, I think, of Rolling Stones. But... In the manga, we got the end fucking screen uh, before we got Rolling Stones. In the anime, they did it like uh, in between, sort of. They, they did it in between. Intermixed. Giorno getting crowned. Yeah, or Giorno and, fucking uh, getting, uh, fucking becoming the boss. But yeah, yeah anyways. Sharing it, Requiem's fucking weird. Requiem, Requiem, Requiem's aren't supposed to be comprehensible i feel yeah because like the point of the the point of a requiem stand is the, the true intention of what the creator of the arrows wanted to do long ago is it the state the line is i think yeah which is basically perfecting your sand i guess you could say or well it's something like that man yeah, like the basically it's the, the true power of, the power of your stand yeah yeah Chariot Requiem is apparently sleeping. And I don't. I don't think it's the true power of your stand. I think it's just like the true, like what the the true stand. I guess you could say, like what the what the purpose of the arrow like was the, in the, the first place. Stand. And I think a side effect of the Requiem arrow is fucking making other incomplete Requiems just go fucking fucking insanely willy nilly. Yeah. So, like, I think, like, I think, if Mister tried to pierce himself with the arrow, it so, wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Uh, it would have so been an incomplete so requiem. G so then, would Ger be, I guess, the true stand? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It Ger is fucking eyes. god. Like, it's that's why its yeah. eyes are wide yeah. open. Yeah, because it could see the truth always. Yeah. <laughs> it sees all universes and it sees the truth. Mm -hmm. so, with, with uh, imagine like, like, Mr. like, what? Uh, now, sandwich or something. And it's like, did you take my sandwich? No, I see through all lies. Okay, geez, fine. I reached the truth. You ate my sandwich, Mister. Fine, geez. I <laughs> like, I like to imagine, like, uh, I like to imagine every time fucking like Gerardo's like, Mister, do you eat my sandwich? And Mister's like, no. He just like takes out the arrow from the turtle. <laughs> He's like, did you eat my sandwich, mister? Mister, you see this? I'm not afraid to use it. Uh, <laughs> like, he just points at his stomach like, mister, I'm, I have an arrow. I'm not afraid to stab myself. Gold experience requiem. Like, requiem? Uh, oh, no. Nah, because uh, it can't be double requiem because gold experience requiem literally absorbs the arrow. He absorbs it and then, like, pops it out. Yeah. Wait, so it's not actually Gold Experience Requiem anymore? No. It, no, it is. It, it is, it's it just kind of like... It is, but forever. it kind of pops out the arrow. Which is yeah, cool. like, it, it absorbs it for a bit, then throws it back out, because it's done with it. Yeah. But it's still G-E-R. Yeah, and it's still... It's, that it's, and Giorno is still by fate tied to that arrow. It's never going to leave him. Yeah. 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 Tur the turtle's by his side. Yeah, the turtle's always by his side. Like, if Giorno ever needs, it... like, Requiem again, which he fucking totally doesn't. Yeah. Like, it's, like, probably at the end of Part 6, maybe the fucking arrow came straight to him and just stabbed him in the fucking face. <laughs> probably. To save him. Where 
Chris Gold Experience Requiem when part six happened? Uh, not uh, there. Disneyland. I feel like I feel like it just put him somewhere else. He's a Polnareff Disneyland. Disneyland. He's a Polnareff Land. He was at Polnareff Land. Like Silver Cherry comes back, it's like, oh no, oh no. Oh, I mean, like, wasn't it an actual thing? Or like, did I, I, I know they're making this up. But I'm pretty sure they no, were legitimately just at Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah, I think that was actually what it was. Wait, yeah, what? like the only the only thing that I've seen about Polonarf Land is a meme about some about like Turtle Polonarf being like, it's like being like, I have one request of you as the new mob boss. Yes, what is it? Build Polonarf Land. Make it have the cleanest toilets in the world. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, a uh, rec- fucking chariot requiem. That shit's crazy. GRE requiem also fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, Diavolo gets it absolutely the worst out of anyone. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah. It's kind of like it's similar to Cars Angelo living his own autopsy. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like Carl Cars. It's similar to Cars Angelo and Enigma dude. Except he's just painfully dying. Uh, it like it, a fucking excellent thing <laughs> here that uh yeah. that's not a exactly. I wouldn't say it's immediately recognizable, but we've mentioned how like that's fucking hell and Diavolo, mm. uh, Giordano's god and god created hell for the devil. Yeah. yeah. So I I, I I like I saw a video like right after I watched it, just like did Diavolo deserve it? I'm like eh, kind of yeah yeah. Eh. Eh. Maybe eh. not to that extent. If he just got like a cars treatment, mm-hmm. then it would have been like, yeah, he deserves that. Yeah. Eventually, but, stop but you know, he's just gonna eventually stop. So, I mean, some people will tell yeah. you otherwise. Fucking drugs are fucking pretty crazy. I get scared uh, yeah, by like, yeah. yeah, like he's he's eventually gonna. Stop he's thinking, living in like, hell, basically. He's that's what it is. Yeah, like he's gonna eventually stop thinking, and then fucking he's gonna the start is- thinking the second the pain. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure it's men- I'm not sure if it's mentioned or if it's just implied right? that he will never like stop thinking, because he's constantly being like over. But uh, in a way, Diavolo got what he wanted. He's technically immortal. He yeah, will yeah, always just, die, but dying. never he'll ne- he'll always die, but he will never actually die. He will never experience death. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, that one way of describing Gr and King Crimson in a way. Was that King Crimson is, uh, it was the, I think King Crimson was getting rid of the cause, but keeping the effect, or was it the yeah. other way around? Uh, yeah. Uh, King Crimson was getting rid of the cause and keeping the effect, and, and will. And GR was getting rid of the effect, but keeping the cause. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, he did activate King Crimson. But GR just said, no, you didn't. And then the effect it is work. gone. It didn't work. He's, D- Diavolo is living in an infinite hell of uh, action without uh, reaction. Is that the way I say it? No, it's a of cause without effect. He's oh, yeah. Diavolo will always make actions, but the actions will never matter. He'll never reach the truth of his death. Yeah. I think the idea is that like, King Crimson is like removing the cause from effect. And uh, gold experience removes the effect from the cause. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that's. There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot. Yeah. Rocky fucking put a lot into it. Yeah, the most basic way of saying it is, G R say no, and yeah. then you follow. Yeah. G R said no, you. G R just stops anything from happening. He put the fucking block card. Down from Uno. Although, uh... Does the Uno reverse card? Yeah. GR is definitely one of, like, I guess it'd be top time. five strongest things. Definitely. In fiction. Like, the only thing that could top it is a stand that fucking, uh, later. Another record. Mm-hmm. I think one of the only things... Yeah, you don't know what the stand is, you, we're, not, we're not gonna talk about we're it. We're not talking about it. Because... Spoilers. Spoilers. Not even Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagann. Uh, that's okay. I mean, that's definitely fair, a good that, contender. That, that, yeah. 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 Well, uh, there. See, it's about that, that stand again, Lemon. Is, it's about that stand. It's about that stand. Yeah. That always. Like, it's I, always I, about I, that oh, stand. Infinite. 
Yeah. They're both. And then in Eyes of Heaven. No, Eyes of Heaven. But Eyes of Heaven's like barely canon. Yeah, barely. So we're not. I don't think it is at all. But it 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 is canon. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. It takes place in like an alternate universe. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It, it's JoJo, so an alternate universe can have completely different yeah to it. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, anything's canon. But yeah, that's the end of part five, technically. Uh, in the in the manga, uh, after that, the whole conclusion ha- bit happens, and then Jarno becomes the boss. But then after that, no, we get Rolling Stones. Yeah, which is just hey, we pr- we we already talked about actually. Mm. Uh, we didn't talk about it that much. Mm. It talked a little bit, not like okay. incredible specifics. So, Rolling it. Stones is an excellent end to Part Five, just because it really yeah. reinforces the whole concept the and idea of fate. the concept of fate and being a yeah. sleeping yeah. slave yeah. to your fate. Destined to happen. Yeah, its name, its its English name is pretty stupid. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it makes it? sense, but is uh, prophecy, prophecy stones. stones? That's dumb. Could have just been Rolling Rock. It makes sense, but you know, it makes sense. Two on the nose. Okay, so we're moving on to part six finally. I uh, know I want to talk about Rolling Stones more. <sighs> okay, we haven't even talked about its ability. Yeah, we just know that it's tied to fate. Uh, it, what like a lot of people think that Rolling Stones causes it, but I'm pretty sure it just no, it just it, it just, just tells you, it. it tells you, and it gives yeah. you the option yeah. to die peacefully. Like, or it, to it's live on like march. A very pushy Jehovah's it, it, Witness. It asks you, it, yeah. It's basically, do you want to die peacefully or do you want part five to happen? Yeah, basically. And I should, and we chose part five. Yeah. yeah. I missed it. Ro- uh, it's also a very good example of how much just the gang trusts Bruno. Yeah, and Mister specifically because he's willing I mean, to j- come. Yeah, Mister literally and jumps out and fucking dude. grinds that rock down to the fucking floor. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the stand user the, comments the, on it. He's just like, wow, he jumped the thing off. Is, for Bruno. And anyone who's around Rolling Stones while it's following the person who's destined to be, who's destined to die, uh, they are completely immortal. Yeah, they basically, cannot, they cannot die because it yeah, is not, not their fate time. to die. Oh yet. yeah, uh, and. Rolling Stones slowly breaks apart, revealing the person within it that's going to die. Yeah. And yeah. once it touches also, the person, they will die. But Missa basically prevents it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they, it's also it's un it's unclear option. whether destroying Rolling yeah. Stones uh, causes the events of Part Five or it like showed it, it more ac- or it showed okay. more accurately yeah, I don't what think was going caused. to happen. I think it just no, showed I it think off. It, I think it's like what you said, where it's like, do you want to die because peacefully broke it, or the other then, way? And I think yeah. it's more they chose uh, when they die, destroyed it. It, it made them choose yeah. the other way. Yeah, and then then that and then I then I, if if we go with that, then it probably means that the inside of the when it broke and it showed up uh, Bruno Narancia and Abaccio. I think that was more just showing the effects that this path would have, and yeah. not that like they did cause yeah. it directly. Because Rolling it Stones is not caused directly; it is just a pro- it is a prophecy of fate. Yeah, yeah. There was there and was some, someone going around saying like, oh, because Bruno, no, because uh, Mista was holding onto the rock and then hit Fugo's car with it, then both of them are immune to the effect. But no, it's just a prophecy; it doesn't it's actually prophecy. affect anyone. It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't affect fate. Yeah, it just. Uh, you could also just look at it as uh, destroying the rock uh, means that you're not gonna stay completely slave to fate. Yeah, because because you could just be like, it's fate that uh, if fate nothing what I do matters, so I'm just gonna do nothing. Then you're then you are a slave to fate, but choosing not to by destroying Rolling Stones, uh, mm-hmm. just yeah, that you're not chained so to it. There's just a lot of symbolism. There's a with it's Rolling heavy. Stones, it's dripping in symbolism. Yeah. Perfect for the final stand. Yeah. Also, uh, when yeah. Mister shot it, uh, shot at the Bru- the Bruno rock. Uh, it shot and it gooped out in where how uh, Bruno's body was shot in the Colosseum. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which was more the death of his, which more the death of his actual body. I was yeah. keeping his soul tied down there. Huh. It's also like the exact the uh, representation on the stone of how Bruno died was how King Crimson would have killed him. Yeah. yeah. With the fucking. 
karate chop through his rib cage and everything. Yeah, having a big hole in his chest. Donut. Also, Where just, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Sc- Scalipo? Scalipi? Scalipi. Scalipi or something? Like uh, he's a yeah. fucking, he is a more of a Jesus figure than Jorno is. Yeah. yeah. He has that fucking the crown of thorns crown and everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, he did. It's a so little, this is also yeah. the second time where, or this is the first time when Leonardo da Vinci is portrayed as a stand user. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm also not actually entirely sure what that first part of the Rolling Stones thing is, where like uh, the rock that showed up with the bad with the bad luck mark on it that Mister touched. I'm not exactly actually sure what that is. Really? No. That, that might just I, that, be that can... was the that was Rolling Stones before it started to carve away. I think. And that might be it, or that might yeah. be what a f- activated it. Maybe. The thing that confuses yeah, me is that a botcher was I like, "Be careful with that rock." Like without... Yeah, I think that's just what it looks like without being tied to anything I'm, yet. like, I'm, it's confusing to me, because Abaccio was like, be careful with that rock, don't make sure not to drop it. Mm-hmm. Which is weird, because I'm not sure what that meant. Maybe, well, anyways, maybe um, they, they had a mission to do with the rock, I don't really remember. It may, I'm not sure, I don't understand what that fucking rock is supposed mm-hmm. to be. Yeah. But, uh, well, uh, wait, are we, we're done with part five now? Yeah. I'd say yeah. we're down to part five. Yeah. No, that's well, goddamn. Let's, uh, well, let's go away from the, uh, the fucking the Trainers Rock game. It's fucking sick. Oh, yeah, it's fucking great. It's, the, it's fucking it's the opening. best. Opening. It's the best. It's the fucking best. There's no way they are going to Giorno, stop it. Giorno is the only There's man. No Giorno, Giorno is the only man to take back his fucking opening. Yeah. All right. I'm going to um, go fucking take a piss.